everybody hey guys how's been, it going it's been a little while yeah so i expect kids want to start coughing as soon as we <laughs> <laughs> he's he, been quiet all day i know but i just made the mistake of putting on my shoes for like a split second and then taking them off so they thought they were going outside so they're like <laughs> kind of excited and i feel bad but it's my own fault <laughs> uh oh no our, our friends views and cues are here they're asking if we if I ordered the apple. I want to. I want to. <laughs> We're tempted. Tem I'm very tempted, but like it's a lot of money. Would I use it? I don't know. I I, I really could I want to try it. Could I want to get it and then return it. Yeah, yeah. You could. That's what I, I mean. That's a big. That's what I'm, I'm kind of telling myself. I could get it and return it as long as you don't like drop it. Like, what if you like got it <laughs> and then like right before you were about to return it, you like dropped it and then it broke. That would, okay, I'm trying. I'm not trying to put that out, <laughs> energy out into the universe, but that's how my mind is. Question is: Did anybody in this in this live stream buy the Apple? Did it Vision did it Pro? go on sale today? Yeah, it went yes. on pre order. It comes out next week. Okay, I think. But uh, oh, Theme Park Express sent me over. He just finished his live. I didn't even realize he was going oh, live. Awesome. Well, that was nice of him. But uh, how is everybody doing? <laughs> <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us on a friday yeah i feel like not many people are gonna end up buying the apple vision pro but i predict it's gonna sell out oh yeah because they probably yeah. didn't make yeah i mean they, it's probably like limited yeah. edition oh see someone ordered one. Oh, <laughs> elizabeth she says hi love you guys see you soon <laughs> <laughs> i can't so. wait uh what a happy accident. I stumbled upon this live. My hubby and I are rewatching your cruise port videos because we're going on Icon in a few <gasps> weeks. Yay. We'll how have fun. so much fun. We are going we're on also Icon. also going on Icon soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm. it hasn't like dawned on me that it's actually happening because we've been like so excited about it for so long. Oh it's my God, like our friend um, Liz is here. I know. I just. Oh, I, oh that's who Liz. you were talking yeah. about when you said Liz. Oh, okay. She said, see you soon. I totally didn't. He doesn't listen. I didn't know who I'm you were talking kidding. about. I didn't understand. <laughs> Anyways, you should make her a moderator, uh, just so we could, so she stands out, so we could see her better. How to do that here? Okay, never mind. I'll go back in after the thing and do it. Yeah, sorry, it doesn't have that ability on on my screen, my my super secret screen. If one of the moderators could make Liz, could do they have the power to do that? I don't. I don't know. I don't know how it works. <laughs> we don't go. We used to go live like once a week. Now yeah. we go live like once every like. And every time months. we go live now, like everything's not working. No, and it's I'm like, like we're, we're scrambling <laughs> up until the last second. It's fun. Uh, as Math long as you could hear us and see us, I guess that's all that matters. Matthew, thank you for the super chat. Says uh, taking a trip to Japan. Enjoyed your videos. Do you know if it's hard to get tickets to Tokyo Disney slash Disney Sea when it's between? December twenty fifth and thirty first. I mean, I'm I'm guessing that's peak into the park. My guess it would probably be difficult, just like it is here. I mean, just buy them in advance. Go on Kluk. I think you can buy the tickets on Kluk. K L O O K. It's an app or a website, and I think you can order. I don't know how far out. Yeah, but I would just order them and way it, in advance. If you are going and you're staying on. But one of the Disney hotels, is it just the 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 more expensive ones or is it all hotels? Not all the hotels, but any some. of the <laughs> any of the Disney specific hotels. Uh, no, there's even there's one that doesn't oh. have it. Well if you're staying okay, so never mind. <laughs> well when we went we were staying at the hotel and that like yeah. if you're staying at Miracle, we were Costa, able to buy tickets through the hotel. Or the Disneyland Hotel or the Toy Story Hotel, you can do like a yeah, you you can buy the tickets there. Um, well, have fun in Japan. Yeah, I'm jealous. I want to go back. Sa Dean says, but my vision for Apple Pro is to keep my wallet where it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I get it. I get it. It's so, I, I you know what's going to happen is they're going to, this is the Pro version. They're going to come out like the, you know how they have the MacBook Pro and then they have the MacBook? They're going to eventually come out with the MacBook. Yeah, version. probably. This is the early you know what we should adopters. do? We should buy it and then just keep it in the packaging and then in 20 years, it'll be worth like a million dollars. 
<laughs> I will say that I have been an Apple early adopter since like the iPhone one. Mm-hmm. So I pay that early adopter tax that you pay <laughs> every single time. Except for I didn't buy the um that speaker thing they have. Oh, the Apple Pod or whatever. Yeah. What didn't, was that called? iPod? HomePod? Home, HomePod. <laughs> didn't go for that. And you know what? That's the one that failed. So. Oh, it did. Yeah. That's so. sad. Um, you also didn't buy the Air, AirPod Maxes either. I didn't. No. <laughs> uh, Spencer, thank you so much. Says, We've traveled to every Disney park except for Shanghai. It's been great reliving those travels through your vlogs. Oh, that's so cool. I'm jealous. What is that? Kangaloosh. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I'm having a hard time seeing the screen because our camera is like blocking it. So oh, no. <laughs> I can only see like part part of the screen. <sighs> I mean, I could see it like when it's over here. It's okay. Should I just move it there? No, no it's fine. I'll move it there for can you. Can you see it from there? Yeah. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Using cues, are you buying the Apple Vision Pro? And I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Kitra's going to be editing on the Apple Vision Pro. I don't know about that. Well, you know what? I'd be down to try it. What if it... Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Well, I will say... I don't think that's possible, is it? Yeah. What? See, the thing is... Oh, my God. I could get it, and then we could bring it to the parks with us, and then, like, while I'm at the park, <laughs> I could just be wearing it and, like, uh, going like this and, like, editing in real time. No, but can you here, imagine? But here is the thing. Like, when we are traveling, it's hard to edit because... You're used to having this big computer, big yeah. monitor. Yeah, I don't With, like editing on a laptop. Technically, if you had the Apple Vision Pro, you could have like this huge screen and you could be editing. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah. I just need like a keyboard and a mouse, right? You still need the computer, but like, yeah. Oh, you'd still need the actual computer. Yeah, yeah. So how does that help me <laughs> if we're it, it, traveling? It basically creates an external screen that's like mm. as big as you need it to be. It could yeah, be but if I'm already screen. traveling with my whole computer, then like, what's the Yeah, point? but you're usually like, when Kitra's traveling with her computer, w w with what the computer editing. What if we just editing, brought like a laptop? She's and like enough. swearing and like, there's not enough screen space and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I really hate editing. This is such a niche <laughs> thing that like nobody, unless I you know. edit video. you. But I know a lot of people you edit on their phone or like edit, you know. Yeah. I'm just I, saying. I just like to have a mouse and I like to like have a big screen. <laughs> Because I'm like, my vision is uh -huh. <laughs> slowly deteriorating. Yeah. Uh, random reads this. I can't believe the icon is finally here. You can't believe <gasps> Yay! it either. I'm so excited. Yeah. So that's going to be our next big adventure. We're going on the maiden voyage of Icon of the Seas, which is the going to be the biggest cruise ship in the world. Yeah, I say that because. Of this year. Until next year when they build another one. Yeah. So. <laughs> But um, it looks incredible. I've been look, looking at all the spoilers. Kitra's been avoiding them, but yeah. like I, I just like some stuff. Yeah. It looks awesome, and we yeah, have a we bunch. Can't of, wait. Yeah, we have a bunch of friends on the ship, so we're gonna have some fun. And um, uh, favorite drink in Alani. Ooh. I mean, I always love the pina colada. Oh yeah. Which is like a pina colada with like a raspberry. All the drinks are actually very good there. They're they're just, they're just very expensive. The one that I think was my favorite was the Lee Hing Margarita. That's good. It was good. But you know the the Monkey Pod Mai Tai, which is not technically Adelani, but it's yeah, across that's the street from Adelani. <laughs> my favorite. In case you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, James, thank you so much. Says Verity, age eight, wants to ask what your favorite Duffy and Friends character slash stuffy. Was while in Japan. Oh, well, it's obviously Duffy. I know that he's got a <laughs> lot of friends, but Duffy is the original and he's the first one that I fell in love with. So he will always be my favorite. Olu is my favorite because he is green and he's a turtle and there's nothing cooler than turtles. That's true. Olu is pretty cool. It's, it's fun because they've been like coming out with new characters every like few years, it seems like. So I wonder what the next one's going to be. I feel like we need a monkey. Like, they need, yeah. like, a monkey friend. Rebecca says Japan doesn't have a Christmas holiday, so it's not the same chaos oh. as here. January 1st, though, is intense. I've heard in Japan in the theme parks, mm -hmm. you know how our Christmas season goes until, like, January 3rd or something like they, that? They, like, stop right after? Right after Christmas, it's over. Oh, really? Yeah. So, like, December 26th, it's, like, over? I don't know the exact day, but it's, like, a day or two after, it's gone. Wow. Yeah. 
So, yeah. Um, Kevin Kelly, thank you so much for the super chat. I just wanted to say you guys have gotten me through a lot of days taking care of my mom. Love you, honestly. Love your honesty and enthusiasm. Sorry. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that, Kevin, but I'm glad that we could be there for you. Yeah. I'm glad that we could be some escape. And um, uh, Julie says the Hawaii food vlogs were so delicious looking. <laughs> and we're excited that you guys mentioned a Kona. Konos. Oh, Konos. Yeah. In Vegas. I know. I, I We've been like dying to go back to Las Vegas. And I feel like when we go, we're going to have to go to Konos for sure. Yeah. I need to test. I mean, for science to gotta do the gotta do the taste test and see if it's as good i wonder if it is i bet you it's <laughs> close <laughs> but yeah we just got back from hawaii uh hopefully you liked our videos we only did three videos this time uh we were celebrating kitra's birthday and honestly those three videos even though it's three videos were was filmed an, over the course of the seven days that we were yeah. there so it might have looked like we ate a lot of food in one day but that was like spread over a whole week yeah and um we uh i think we said in a live stream a long time ago that we became dvc members yeah so it's so it was our first like dvc trip we became dvc yeah. members specifically for alani so we like used all of our points at alani yeah and for our, our alani video i was kind of like you know we've shown all that there is at alani what do we show mm -hmm. so the angle was like what it's like to be a DVC member. Yeah, to just show people what it's like. We weren't trying to convince people to become DVC members. It can be expensive. It's If you're not going to Disney every year, it's not worth it for you. Yeah. Um, but uh, we don't plan on doing a ton of the DVC stuff because I saw some people asking. But we will occasionally, you know. Yeah, whenever there's like a new thing or yeah. if it's like something interesting that like we haven't shown before, we'll obviously want to show it. But it's funny because, like, normally when we go to f out to Walt Disney World, we just we stay at Universal. <laughs> we don't even use our DVC points out yeah. there because Universal is so cheap to st the hotel. Well, hopefully now we'll use. Yeah, DVC maybe points. now we'll like start using it more, and then we could yeah. show it. Um, I'd like to do some resort stuff over there. Yeah, like we recently stayed at the the Disneyland, the new Disneyland Villas, yes. and we only got to stay there one night. I wish we could have stayed like two nights because it. I wasn't really that excited to stay there. I mean, I was excited to stay at the Disneyland Hotel, but, like, going there and seeing it changed my mind. Like, I really enjoyed our stay there. The only downside was the bed was kind of uncomfortable. But, like, the hotel itself and the restaurant and stuff is yeah. really good. Choi to the World asked, direct or resale DVC? We bought direct. Um, our friend Kevin, his girlfriend, is a DVC rep, and we bought through her. Shout out. Shout out to her. Yeah. She was a big help. Um, we wanted to buy direct because you can't book at the new resorts if you don't have direct points. Like you can't book at the villas, you can't book at the Riviera and you can't get the discounts or go to the like Moonlight Magic. You need to have that blue card. But now that we got it, I think I would buy, if we were going to buy additional points. Yeah. They're we'd just buy, like cheaper if you do we'd it. We'd buy resale. resale. It's like half the price. Okay. Yeah. So if we ever were yeah. to add on to our points, we'd probably do it that way. Yeah. Shh, but. Don't tell I don't think Disney care. I mean, they do care because they want you to buy from them, the grand scheme of thing. We're still yeah. going there and spending the points. Yeah. Um, Celtic Guardian says, Peter, would you camp outside an Apple store if they made a lime green? <laughs> vision yes. I would. I've been wanting, I've been hoping one year they made like, or a couple years they made iPhones that like had different colors, but mm -hmm. it was the cheap iPhone. It was like a plastic case. Mm -hmm. I want them to make colors for the pros. Yeah. I don't think they ever will. Because Pros are not boring. They are, though. I got a blue one, and it's so funny because it's you can't even see it. Yeah. Like, I just keep it covered. But I used to be the person that would camp out at the Apple store every time there was a new iPhone. Mm -hmm. And um, I kind of miss Back in the that. day. It was, you, it was annoying, but I kind of miss it. I know. I never did that. I wish I would have done it. Now it's like... If you care about getting it, like, on the first day that it comes out, you have to do the pre-sale, and then, like, the website crashes, and it's, like, hard to do. <laughs> I'd almost rather just go wait, like, in the line if I was really that dedicated. Our friend Van Oaks Props is here. Shout out to him and his YouTube channel. He makes, like, all sorts of, recreates props, and he's so creative. Um, 
uh, James asked, would you recommend for someone to move to Florida who wants to be a full-time theme park content creator? Hmm. I don't think that's a smart move. I, I wouldn't. I mean, in general, I wouldn't just like jump into being a content creator and thinking it's yeah. going to be a full-time thing. Like I would kind of build up to it, film a little here, film a little there when you yeah. go on a trip or whatever. Take some trips to the uh, to Walt Gather, Disney World. Gather like an audience and then maybe like go for it. Yeah. I wouldn't say like quit your job and just like start out fresh. I mean, unless you're like have like a million dollars saved up in your bank account. Speaking of DVC, one of our uh, <laughs> DVC friends, Cam, is in the chat here. Ooh. Thanks for oh, aloha. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. I recognize his little profile picture. <laughs> yeah, he was so helpful. He was showing us he all. He was our around. best day at Alani. Yeah. He was so cool. And view, views and skew, uh, views and cues <laughs> says no, too expensive. Yeah, I get it. I I totally get it. But I, I I'm so tempted. I'm so <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Anyways, um, tips tip for a first time cruiser who's afraid of seasickness. I'll I'll give this to you because you are the Joe, seasick person. I have a few tips for you. I am someone who suffers from motion sickness. Um, even while riding in the car sometimes, luckily I'm most of the time I'm driving, but whenever I'm like sitting in the passenger seat, I will even get sick. That's how sensitive I am. Um, that's what worries about me about the, the vision pro. I'm like, is it going to make me sick? It could. Um, I think they put a lot of work into it not making people sick. That's good. But, um, so I, my tips for you is try to find a bigger boat because the smaller and older the ship is, the more you're going to feel it. Um, and also what I like to use is th these things called C bands. They, they are, they go around your wrist and they are like a pressure point. And I don't know if they actually work, but I, I always People wear say them. they work. I wear them and I've, I've, there's only been one time that I got seasick on a cruise, but it's when the waves were like 20 feet high. Like we were going through like a hurricane and it was like really rocky, but I've been fine every other time. So I would say, and maybe go on a short cruise, go for like three nights to see if you could handle it. And then, like, if you're if you feel like you could handle it, maybe try a longer one. Uh, Kate says, "I would love to see a video of Kitra editing on it." <laughs> oh, on I the mean, Apple Vision Pro. Yeah, that would. She'd be like, "I would just Minority be... Report." Like, <laughs> I mean, if it like if it made it easier in some way, I think you'd still be using keyboard uh, and mouse, but it'd just be used as kind of like displays. But that'd be so funny. Um, I want to say thank you to the, our mod squad. I see them uh, working their magic. Yes, in, in the, thank you for always showing up, you guys. Everyone in here, we appreciate it. We have 1,500 people in here right oh, now. Oh, God, don't tell me that. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like when you say that because oh. I don't like. Okay, it's fine. Act natural. Uh, <laughs> when are you going to Disney World and Universal Studios for Mardi Gras <sighs> and going to New Orleans? We're not, I don't think we're going to make it for Mardi Gras. I, that's one of our favorite things over in Florida at Universal Studios. Um, I don't, but I don't think we're going to make it this year. It makes me so sad. I, I wish mean, we never could, say never. We might. Yeah, I wish we could I make it for farts. I know. Yeah. It's like a good time of year to go to the parks right now because it's not as hot over there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Never say never, but I don't think we're going to make it this year, unfortunately. Um, Rebecca says, I understand Kitra. I have two monitors for editing and my biggest pet peeve is the middle bit between the two monitors <laughs> isn't usable. <laughs> she gets it. Yeah. You really do need like as much screen space to like edit video as possible. So I, I just, my brain, I, I just need a lot of room to like look. My brain when it's like confined, I feel like doesn't work. You know what I mean? Like my creative <laughs> creativity, like yeah. is like hiltered by it. Liz says you look lovely. The highlighter and makeup. Oh my gosh! Thank you. Uh, it's also, I'm sweating a little bit, so that's <laughs> <laughs> it's it's glistening. Mm -hmm. You're glowing. Thank you. Well, thank you to traveling raindrops. They say I love your editing. It's always what I aspire to learn to do. Oh my gosh, like that is so nice. That's so nice. I love that. That's so sweet. Yeah. I've been, you know, I try. Sometimes, you know, <laughs> sometimes I get that creative block, but our, I try. Our friend Steven says, feel you unedited. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> do, uh, do you all have a favorite drink at Pim's? Ooh. Um, I like the Honey Buzz. Yeah. I like the, um, I don't know if it's still there, but they had like a, a espresso martini 
Wasn't that what it was? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's pretty good, but it's very sweet. A lot of the drinks there are like um, beer cocktails, but you can't really taste yeah. the beer. They're still pretty good. Hey, are you guys doing anything more Disney trip or cruise this year? Uh, we are. We're going to Disney's new... We're doing a bunch of cruises this year, you guys. We're going to go on the Disney Fantasy, which we have been on before, but that was before we had a channel. It was her first Disney cruise. Yeah. Star Wars Day at Sea. They don't have that anymore. Yeah. Which they did. I wish we were we were, had a YouTube channel back then because that was yeah. such a fun cruise. Yeah. So I'm very excited to go back and see if it like I think lives if you go up back, to my memories of like it being the best <laughs> Disney cruise ship. I think if you go back on my Instagram, you can see like a collage of us like meeting all these characters. Really? Remember, remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I took a bunch of like... Um, <laughs> I took a bunch of photos and stuff, too. Yeah. But we're going on the fantasy, and we're going to Disney's new private island, which I would say the name of it. It's called but Lighthouse it's like, K no, it's at some, Lighthouse Point? It's something. Lighthouse it's, Point at Lighthouse K? No. some Lighthouse K at Lighthouse Point? What is it called? Lighthouse. Anyone know? Our, our friend from Views and Cues, <laughs> Carrie, calls it Treasure Island. Okay. And I, I just want to call it Treasure Island. Well, Disney, they're unveiling <laughs> their newest, like, um, they already have this place called Castaway K or Castaway Key, um, which is, like, kind of, like, their island that they go to if you go on a Disney cruise. And they're going to have a second one. So we booked the first voyage on the first ship that's going, or I mean, up it's, the first. I think it's technically one of the, the second yeah. ship. It's whatever. So we're going to be going there. But the cool thing is, is we're actually going there twice. Yeah. We have, like, a double dip. So we'll really get to explore it, and I'm, we're very excited. Yeah, hopefully it's cool. Yeah, we know really nothing about it. They haven't really released that much information. I mean, it's a beach. Yeah. It's a beach. They released the excursions be list be fun. this past week, and there was, like, mm -hmm. one that you take a buggy through, like, abandoned caves. Oh, we're like. going to have to do that. Yeah, I want to do that. As soon as we're able to book those, yeah. we should try to get that. That'd be fun. Uh, Anthony says, are you guys going on Utopia this season? We are. So YouTube, yes, Utopia, we're also going on that. That's happening insane. later this year, mm -hmm. and um, we booked all this stuff like a year ago. Mm -hmm. And that is—is is that going to be bigger than Icon? Mm -mm. No, but it's the so same. So Utopia, the seas. Uh, <laughs> I feel like we're we're like crazy for like booking Icon, and then that is like, was it necessary? I no. don't know. Um, but Utopia, the seas is the next ship that Royal Caribbean is coming out with, and it's basically like the same as. Um, Wonder of the Seas and Symphony of the Seas, which we've been on and have videos about. Um, so it's the next ship in that. It's next line. evolution. Evolution. So it's probably going to be pretty similar to the Wonder, but yeah. we're going to go and check it out. <laughs> uh, Kate is Team Gelatoni. Yes. Justice for Gelatoni. Hashtag Justice for Gelatoni. Okay. I love Gelatoni too. There doesn't need to be any justice. We love uh, Gelatoni. Thank you, Liz. Says with my. This, can you say hi Jen Aww. Pumpkin behind you <laughs> Oh I think they're talking about the pumpkin Yeah, back there. I was moving stuff around and I, I was I yeah. was out of town for a few days and I came back And I was like why is the pumpkin well, out Well first here? of all hi Jen Hi Jen but yeah, she <laughs> had to go visit her grandpa And while she was gone I was doing some rearranging of stuff I actually built her A place in the closet or walk-in closet to house all her my lounge full lounge of bags. Flies. It was such a nice surprise. It was so sweet yeah. of you. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, and then but I, it was very nice of him. I also built some racks that you can put all your ears on and yeah. have it all displayed. And um, so yeah, so there was some rearranging, and now the pumpkin lives. Yeah, and you know what the pumpkin's sitting on? A box of Christmas ornaments. Because <laughs> we have no storage at our house. That's the problem. So um, everything is just kind of living in the living room right now. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'm way behind. I'm way, way behind. You Just are. to warn you guys. I know. Sorry. It's okay. We'll get to it. Don't worry. Kitra, to the dogs. Did you gift some of the keychains from Japan? I don't remember keychains. Uh, no. Oh, the thing out of the. <laughs> we haven't uh, picked the winner of that yet, have we? No, we did. I think he's talking about the ones that I got. Oh, yeah. okay. Or oh, are you talking about the one on the video? If so, that's already been claimed. Okay. So you did that. But I did I buy a lot of keychains or like <laughs> like way too many keychains when we were in yeah. Japan. Like I don't need them all. So maybe I'll do another giveaway. Well, thank you to C. Says hello and always love away in your videos. I get motion sickness, but I want to try a Star Wars ride at Disneyland. 
which one would you recommend? Rise of the Resistance. Probably Rise of the Resistance because that one, the, all, other, the other two are screens. So you probably would get dizzy on those. Yeah, the other two are motion simulators. So there, a lot of people say both of those are can uh, make you queasy. If you do go on one of those two, I might say Smuggler's Run because in, if you do be one of the pilots, that mm -hmm. way you can have control over it. And I, I've heard... I don't know from you, but I've heard that when you have control over it, you feel mm. a little bit less. I would just try to go on rise if I was you. Okay, yeah. Just to be safe. <laughs> um, when are you all going to stay in the three-bedroom villa at Disneyland oh Hotel? Oh, my gosh. I wish. Never. <laughs> By the way, that thing looks so epic. And on the cheapest day, we could afford it. We could f afford one night there on the cheapest day. But the other thing I learned about it, when I was touring it with that, um, we just ran into a random person that was staying there, is California has a thing, I think it was to, uh, because of Airbnbs and stuff, that basically California taxes hotels. Oh, my God. And because it's in ho uh, California, you have to pay a tax on it. And I think it was like something like $500 a night just for the taxes for that room. Not worth it. I mean, it's cool, and if you're, if you're, like, splitting it between a bunch of people, maybe, but yeah. dang. But you don't have to pay taxes in other places, most other places. Um, oh, look at the little the little gizmo. It says, my hero. Aw. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you so pizza. much. Thank you, pizza. S word. Or 20. <laughs> S word. <laughs> uh, uh, my two-year-old niece is watching y'all's new... Your video. On oh repeat. my gosh! Stop. That's so cute. Oh, oh wonderfully normal is going to Lani. <gasps> Not excited really? at all. Well, we've taken a lot of notes. You will have a lot of fun. Oh my god! I'm so excited for you guys. Yeah. You could go back to the North Shore and try some more garlic shrimp. <laughs> yeah, you guys. It, it's the most. You're it's gonna like have paradise. so much fun. I'm so yeah. happy for you. Yeah. Have a blast, and you better vlog it. Because I miss your guys' yeah, your what, videos. What the heck, E? What's going on? I miss your guys' videos. I see him selling cameras, buying new cameras, but he's not doing any vlogs. So what's <laughs> what's going on? Um, I want to see you guys vlog it, but I also want you guys to have fun. And if you don't feel like vlogging, I understand. <laughs> will you try out the DVC at the Polynesian in Disney World? We'd love to. I, oh, my God. I would love to. That's like a bucket list. We've never stayed at the Polynesian. No. I would love. I would really love to stay there. I think that that would like out of all the hotels at Walt Disney World, that's probably like my number one of like wanting yeah. to stay there. Uh, Matthew, thank you so much. This is sort of rude, so don't answer if you want to. But watching many of your great videos, how many drinks do you guys have on a vacation day? <laughs> it's not rude. Um, it depends. I mean, we never drink too much that like we can't handle it, like we or that we get like intoxicated. In on this Hawaii trip, to give you an example, I don't think I ever that much. felt yeah. like buzzed Tip or yeah. tipsy. Do you know what I mean? Like, and like when we go to Monkey Pod, like I'll have like one Mai Tai and that'll be like the only drink I'll have that day. Same. <laughs> and I usually like. Oh, that said, we have yeah. the drink package on oh, Icon yeah. Seas. And we we paid a lot of money for that. So we need to at least drink six drinks a day to make it worth it. Yeah. So we're going on Icon of the Seas very soon. And one of one of the things that Peter wants to do. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Uh, I'm not. OK. Well, it involves a drink package. We'll yes. put it that way. And I don't know <laughs> if it's going to be its own video or no, no, if it's going to be incorporated in the other videos. But we're going to have a lot of videos. Yeah. We're filming every single day and it's a seven night cruise. So we'll probably at least have seven videos. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, AB, thank you so much. A short trip to Orlando or wait for Epic Universe? Hmm. Well, that's another year yeah, and a half. We'll, we'll be we'll be going back to Orlando. Before well, I think Epic. they're asking for them. Oh, should they take a short trip to Orlando mm. or wait for Epic Universe? Well, Epic Universe, they haven't announced when it's opening, but it's opening in twenty twenty five, right? Yeah. Uh, I think summer 2020. Okay, so you have like a year and a half to wait. I would take a short trip. Depends on what you want to do. If there's something that like you want to go there f before, then go. Because Epic Universe, I think for the first few months is going to be like a madhouse. I'm guessing. I have no idea. But it's a brand yeah. new theme park. So my guess is a lot of people are going to be going to it. 
Have you guys tried Dutch Brothers coffee? No. I haven't heard There's of none that. around here. Hmm. I've heard it's awesome, Well, they're though. bringing more to SoCal. Oh. Fountain Valley next month. Okay. I'll have to keep my eye out. <laughs> no, I've, I've always wanted to try it, there, but there's none like where we are at the moment. Um, hold on one second. Sorry. Um, Rachel, thank you so much. Says your Hawaii food videos on Oahu uh, have a wait. Your Hawaiian food videos have Oahu on our radar mm, for mm. possible anniversary trip. What tips do you have for first time Hawaii travelers? Well, this is all stuff that we've said before, but definitely like rent a car. A lot of people go to Olani and don't rent a car, and you're doing it wrong. Or like if even you're not. a lot of people go to Waikiki and they just like stay in Waikiki, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I highly no, suggest there's a lot wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I ever went to Hawaii, granted I wasn't even like 21 yet, I we just stayed in Oahu or in a Waikiki. There's so I much. I didn't know any better, and oh. I was just like, "Oh, I'm in Hawaii." But like once you like explore the island, like just trust us. That's like our number one tip. Even if you only rent a car for a few days, do it for sure. G just got a job offer from Disney Studios in Burbank. Never would have applied. To the- <gasps> well, congrats! Wow. Congratulations. How freaking exciting. That's like my dream. I'm so happy for you. Wait, just go back to this. Mm-hmm. Any other tips? Uh, we just gave the car thing. Mine was car. What, do you have anything? I mean, that's what I would have said. I mean, don't car. be scared to try the food either. Like, that's just with traveling in general. Yeah. Like, just try everything you can. And if it's like the place looks like kind of like a little hole in the wall, like locals only joint, go there and try it. Because I guarantee <laughs> it'll be delicious. Um, Stitched wants to know how cool is Chris from TDR Explorer? <gasps> He's the best. Would you guys collab? Coll- would you guys collab next time you go? We were planning on it this time, but yeah, he had a he had a family emergency, so we had to postpone. But yeah, if we when we go back to Japan, uh, for sure. Yeah, and we are when we go back to Japan. We are going back to Japan. We don't have a plan later yet, this year, but we want to go back this year. <laughs> yeah, it's happening. It's happening. We don't have it booked. We don't yeah. have the dates, but it's happening. Yeah. I can tell you, though, we're not going to be there for the opening of Fantasy Springs. Because, yeah. Yeah. But we'll probably go after that at some yeah. point. I've just heard uh, summertime in Japan is. Yeah, miserable. we want to avoid summer because we heard it gets very hot. So if anything, we'll probably go like in the fall time again. Yeah. Um. When are you going to go to Disney Paris? We want to go, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to squeeze in this year. Well, can we talk of where we are going to go this year? That is a fun new place. Okay. We're actually going to a bunch of fun new places. We're making it a, a whole trip out of it. It's not Paris, though. Anybody okay, have any guesses? <laughs> it does. Let's not give away all the details, I, I'll say. Oh. I'll say that much. What do you mean so by that? Talking broad Broad strokes. Oh. The country. I mean, we're... I've just given you Oh, okay. Time. Anybody want to guess the country? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I see UK. I want to go there, but I've been there before. I love it. I want to go back one day. Hmm. By the way, uh, thank you to Valerie. She sent a super sticker uh, oh, with a fan oh character my wearing... Thank you so much. Sunjet glasses with fireworks. I saw one that scrolled by. Like yeah. I said, it's hard for me to see the screen. But thank you so much, Valerie. Yeah. Very nice of you. We appreciate that. So what are people saying? New York City. New York, I'd like to go to New York this year. France, Canada. Well, I see a few people saying Mexico, it. <laughs> Denmark, <laughs> Scotland, Australia. Oh, my God. I want to go to Australia, but, like, I'm literally terrified of the spiders there. Okay. Some people are guessing it. So, a lot of people are saying Australia. I know. Dang. We'll go to, uh, one day we'll go to Australia. It's on the bucket list. Egypt, Italy. We we have books. I'm going to say you're, go to, you're getting colder. The chat is getting cold. <laughs> they, they were on it for they a second. They were on it. Now you're getting colder. Yeah, they've, they've gotten really cold. Eddie, er, Eddie H. Dean has the Dean says right we're going idea. to World Showcase Epcot, Epcot. That is correct. That's true. No, um, I will say Eddie H. is Happy Sponge wants right us to money. switch glasses. Okay, try it. Oh my god, I will be blind. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be. Oh my god. Oh my god. You can't. How do you see it? Oh, these of this? look good. Are these crooked on me? You look good. Yeah, I do. Should we okay. switch? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, you're blind. You're blind. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, oh, Spain. A lot of people have said it. Okay. We have booked so, a trap. Two. Drum roll, please. China. Yeah. Woo. We're not going to say when. We're not going to say where. We're not going to give. We're not going to say for how yeah. long or all the yeah. different places we might be going while in that country. Yeah. But uh, um, we, we but are excited. But it literally, we booked some of the stuff right before the live stream. So that's how real it it's actually happening. So. Yeah. Barring us not getting. Oh, yeah, because in China, you need to get a visa, yeah. so hopefully we could get a visa, yeah. and yeah. it's okay to go. Yeah. Um, but we kind of dipped our toe in with Japan, and I feel like we're going all in with China because it's a completely different place. China. Which is I, a little intimidating, I'm not going to lie. Because Japan was a little scary because there weren't, like, that many people that speak English, whatever. I think China is less so. Like, it's more... Um, gonna be us trying to figure things out yeah so it'll be a real adventure <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a real adventure I'm, I'm i'm excited we're very very excited very excited it's gonna be like i just i can't wait to try all the food and to see the sights and to do stuff for in china okay co cover your ears me yeah why just cover your ears why just cover your ears we have two thousand people in the chat you have what? What? You didn't want to hear numbers. I wasn't giving you a number. Oh. Okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> but I don't know. We've never reached that number, I don't think. Oh, uh, I don't Maybe know what have. you said. So Okay. Um <laughs> So we're going to China. Yeah. It's official. We're not gonna tell you when. We're not gonna tell you where, but it's happening. Jeremy Jeremy wants to know where are the dogs? Good question. Where are the dogs? Pixel is blending in with the couch over there, sleeping. And where's Gizmo? Yeah, you can't really see her. Gizmo's, Gizmo's at my feet. You. Now that I paid him attention, he's probably going to start coughing. Mm. Uh, have you guys ever met Lisa Land? I love her so much. Yes, we we met her a couple times at Disneyland. She's very yeah, nice. Yeah, she's very nice. Uh, Sarah, thank you so much. Hi, guys. Sorry I'm late to the party. Had a chaotic day at work. Finally oh. get to enjoy my day. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. Hopefully oh. you get the weekend off. Oh, yeah. It's Friday. Yeah. TGIF. Yeah. We yeah. usually we usually TGIF. do our live streams on Saturday. So, once again, thanks for hanging out with us. Do you want to kind of talk about what the title is about of the live stream? Oh, so that I see we're some people break. keep asking and we haven't really, like, addressed it yet. Okay. So, here's the thing. In January, things start slow. Like, there's not much going on, like, theme park-wise. There's, like, Lunar New Year celebration at Disneyland. Which, which we're going to. We're going to. Um, and we already recorded a video that's going to be out, I think, Sunday. So we're not... You'll have some stuff from us coming up, but we're going to probably take, like, a week and a half off after that, which we generally have two videos a week. So um, it's a little bit of a break. And then we're going to have our Icon of the Seas coverage. And then we might take Some more a time, week or a two off time. after that. Yeah. It, as we're doing. We're not going anywhere. We just might be a little slower with the, the videos. Yeah. As we're doing like these big trips, it's kind of hard to get home. Kitra has to like edit the videos. And it, like these videos usually take like two, three days to edit. And it's just like we can't pump out like the the same amount. Yeah, it's hard. And like we want to really be present in the moment. So we don't want to be like editing while we're yeah. doing the thing. So that's part of the reason. Um, also, my grandpa is getting older and um, he's having some health issues. And luckily I was able to go visit him uh, like a week ago. And he's actually doing a lot better than he was. He was looking a little rough there, and then he's kind of, he's, like, so resilient. Like, he's hes going to be 96 years old this year, and uh, he's, like, so strong and so, has such a positive attitude. And I just, I really inspire to be like him when I get older because I know I'm going to be a cranky old <laughs> lady when I'm older. <laughs> and he's just always so happy and just, he's like. He's, like, the happiest guy ever. Yeah. So um, I really want to visit him, like, as much as I can because I don't know, you know, he's not going to be with me for forever and with my mom passing away um besides like my uncle and my father he's like really the last link i have a very small family yeah. 
So like he's one of like the last like links in my family and he means so much to me and I'm trying not to cry. Um, but like I got to visit with him and I hadn't seen him in like, you know, a couple years. So it was just really nice to see him and he was so happy to see me. And I just want to see him a few more times, you know, before we have our big crazy trips and stuff this year. It's been a couple years. Yeah, it has. Like a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyways, not to get emotional. Um, so that's kind of part of the reason why I'm hoping to go see him again um, in the next couple months. So, you know, we just need to like chill a little bit on the videos and live our our yeah. real life for a little bit. We'll still be de like the delivering adventures. The videos are adventures. still coming. We're, still, we're going on this cruise and we're filming every day. We're going to have tons of videos from that. Yeah. It's just um, uh, there might be some breaks in between and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, it's we try yeah. our best to do two videos a week, but sometimes it's hard. Yeah. Um, Allison says, "Look out, K at Lighthouse Point." Oh, is that what? It's yeah. Wow, you're that far back. Uh, views and cues says, "Forever Treasure Island for uh, to us." <laughs> yes, it is. And Theme Park Express, we're going to be on his uh, same uh, cruise, and he says, "Can't wait for Lighthouse yes. Point." Yes. Louder than words. I'm seeing your guys' messages. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Uh, thank you so much, says uh, Peter. I know it's not theme park question, but because of the new Mean Girls movie, I was curious if there's a movie Ooh. that you could think of that could be a musical. That's a good question. Hmm. I mean, I was going to say Back to the Future, but didn't they already make one? Well, they made a Broadway musical. Yeah. Um Oh my god! I wish I had this question in advance. I don't have an answer. <laughs> You'll have the whole. Just give yourself time, and whenever it comes to you, you can say it. Jurassic Park. Goonies. <laughs> Goonies would be a fun musical. I love Mean Girls. I'm not sure I have any interest in this one. I'll see it eventually. I'll see it, maybe. Yeah. But I just like I love the original one so much. I'm yeah. sure this one's great. You want to read this one? Sure. Um, Trina says, "Oh, Trina Gibbs, is that you?" I don't know. Uh, so happy you are hanging with us tonight. Hi, Gizwiz and Pixel Pup from Olive. They say hello. Pixel's like passed Pixel's out. Pixel's like passed out. I'm surprised she's not snoring. Yeah. Valerie, thank you so much. Says favorite Disney character. Mine is Duffy slash Minnie Ty. Ooh, good choice. Um, Mine is probably Duffy and Chippendale. Do count you count, when you count Disney characters, does that count like Star Wars and Marvel uh, and Pixar or is that just Disney Disney? That just like Disney animated. I think you could count whoever you want. But the, I like to think of it as like or something that was originally Disney. It's like to me, I know Disney owns yeah. Star Wars now, but like that wasn't created by Wait, Disney. Wait, who did you say? Chippendale. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I thought. Um, oh my God, that's so hard. I would have to say like R2-D2. Forever that's, my hero. What, what about a Disney character though? <sighs> Do you have anyone from like the the Fab Five that you like the most? I mean, I like Goofy? Chip. I like Chip and Dale like because and they're Dale? like, I like anybody that's like causing trouble and like pranksters. Do you know what I mean like that kind of like character? Yeah, yeah. they're the best. I agree. <laughs> Kelman Explores, thank you so much. Says Happy Birthday, Ketra. Will you be on Utopia in September? We. I don't know when we're. I don't gonna, know when we're going. We're on we the are maiden voyage. Be in, I think it might be in. July, July or August, so not September, but we're very excited. How fun was Tokyo Disney? It was amazing. The most fun. It was like I feel like I can't stop talking about it. Anyone who asks me, I'm just like I won't shut up. It was so incredible. It lived up to all the hype, yeah. all of our expectations, and we, like we said earlier, like we're we're planning to go back. We haven't yeah. like actually booked it yet, but we're gonna go back. We've fallen in love with to, uh, Japan. Not that we weren't in love with Japan anyways. But, it but like, we, we, we yeah. like. It solidified our love for it. Yeah. And it also sparked our like, we want to like travel, mm -hmm. do a bunch of like international travel. I like, I'm so thankful for that trip because like, we're not getting any younger. Yeah. And like, you know, I turned 40 last year and like, I want to keep adventuring and keep doing things as long Stop as i'm lying to everybody and saying that you're 40 everybody knows that you're 29 oh my god i, w I wish <laughs> i honestly wish we started our channel sooner i know um because it would have pushed us to to do more i mean we've lived great yeah. lives but um i want to keep going and like as long as i can as long as i'm allowed to as long as my body will let me um i want to 
Yeah. Our friend Kidder is in the chat says Utopia of the Seas has a immersive dining experience on a train oh. car, which should be cool. Oh, yeah. Is that Utopia? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to do that for sure. That looks sure. like it's going to be awesome. I forgot about that. Oh, is that replacing Wonderland, I wonder? Or replacing Probably. one of the restaurants? Rose Gold Sugars here says, I uh, wish you both a belated, very happy new oh, year. Thank you so much. Been busy. Yeah, she's been doing some film projects and stuff. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, also you can book a 30 minute experience at the Apple Star Tryout Vision Pro. Oh That's God. true. People are like realizing that I'm 40 in the chat. She said it in a couple of videos. I know. Yeah, I am. Listen, I'm I'm um, proud of it. House repair update. Um we actually there was an update as of yesterday. Go yeah. ahead. We finally got concrete on our patio. They poured concrete on our patio. Yes, literally yesterday <laughs> while I was working, it was kind of because we don't have any walls up there. Like it's just um, pieces of wood and the concrete was kind of like coming in. I mean, it didn't like get yeah. all the way in, but it was yeah. like yeah. getting really close to like spilling over or like onto the carpet. It's I was like, good. oh, this is Well, they're going to have to fun. replace the carpet anyway. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, so things are happening. Uh, Kitra, I need your glasses. Please tell. Oh, I'd love to. So anyone who ever asks me, I love to share where I got them from because they're my apps. They're the best classes ever. They're so flattering, I think. Yeah. Um, I got them from Warby Parker and the style is called Durand and they're the color Rosewater and I got the extra wide frames. So they come in like, I think like medium, wide, whatever. I got the biggest ones. So there you go. You're welcome. Polynesian is. Uh, his, Congrats on the concrete. <laughs> Steve Koss is a uh, uh, DVC resort is Polynesian. I'd love to have Polynesian as our DVC resort. I know that. I mean, I feel like if we didn't have Alani, that's probably yeah. the one I'd pick. Uh, oh, anonymous person. Thank you so much. Says, hi, mailed you a fun custom Lego oh. gift during Star Cruiser culture in September. We did. Yes, we, we did. We did. We didn't open it until, I want to say, like two like, weeks like ago. Like a couple but. weeks ago, yeah. We had all of our packages and we just have been like, out and about yeah. so thank you so much we yes. appreciate it thank you um i feel bad that like we don't do our mail inboxes anymore so like whenever people send us stuff like i want to instantly like be like thank you but like yeah. i have no so thank you we do yeah. appreciate it it was very cool jordan sent a super sticker thank you so much jordan and wonderfully norman will be vlogging so if you want to see alani you want to see more alani coverage go to wonderfully normal's page yeah, subscribe on to them youtube they're the best and uh, Michael, I miss you guys. Michael Angelo, thank you so much. Are you guys going to Star Wars Celebration in Japan next year? Incredible job with Japan videos. We'd love to. Yeah, now that I feel like we've been to Japan, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to go, but like, I, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be opposed to yeah. it. We had tickets to Star Wars Celebration in London and we never <laughs> went. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, we, I think we will. Yeah. I want to say, it, uh, well, where, when is it is the question. I don't know. Do you know? No. <gasps> Happy birthday. So it's totally with you. I turned 40 today. Renat Renato? Renato? Happy birthday. Thanks again, Jordan. Um, I guess he sent a second. Thank you, Jordan. Um, <laughs> some funny comments here I can't read on, on the uh, screen. Why? What was it? They, they, they it. say swears and stuff. Um, oh. Uh, Courtney, <laughs> thank you so much. Will, will you be trying Lunar New Year's food? We will. Yes, that's the plan. We'll be there. Lunar New Year is like literally our favorite festival, I think. I mean, in California. So we will we love it. And it'll be like good practice since we're going to China. We could try some Chinese food. <laughs> right? It's not really That's Chinese what I'll be food. telling myself. All the stuff at Lunar New Year is like mashups of like. Yeah, but they have like dumplings and yeah, stuff. Kind of. Yeah. It'll be fun. I'm excited to meet, um, oh my God, what's his name? May? May May? Yeah, yeah. Pa the panda from uh, Turning Red. Yeah. Is that the name of it? I mean, it's her when she turns it. So is it just May I've May panda? I've only seen the movie once. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to meet the red panda from Turning Red. David asked, do you know, do you happen to know why Tortilla Joe's is closing down to Disney? Because they're building another, the same company that owns that, the Patina Group, is 
building another Mexican restaurant uh, across the way. They're Paseo and Centrico. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it makes no sense for them to own three Mexican restaurants. Actually, technically, they're going to have three. They're going to have Paseo, Centrico, and then like a quick serve place. Wow. So it makes no sense for them to have Tortilla Joe's. Basically, I think what's happening is Disney wants ever like wants the price. They're trying to make it more upscale mall. Yeah, is what it seems like. Well, hopefully it's good. I mean, Tortilla Joe's is kind of overpriced for what it is, but I think like the margaritas and the guacamole there are pretty good. Yeah, the chips, so the I'm dip, gonna, and I'm the margaritas. I'm gonna miss. A lot of people used to go to that one in the middle, though. What was it called? Uva, Uva Bar. Bar. I, I only went there like one time. I regret yeah. not going there more. Yeah. Albert uh, Wilson says, this is my type of Friday night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Party <laughs> animals here. By the way, I finally reached the point where everybody's guessing where we're going. There was a lot of good. You guys, yeah. like, when you were guessing, you gave me, like, Ideas of where we I want to go. Disney Duo Adventures got it right. They got it. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's too many places we want to go. Is the problem in so little time. Oh my god, I'm so excited for China. The food, oh, the food is gonna be so good. I will say that, like Japanese food is good. Was good, but Chinese food is like my favorite. Yeah, I'd say you're a connoisseur of Chinese. Yeah, food. and having like real authentic Chinese food, it's gonna be unbeatable. <laughs> Um, Jay Murray says I'm a flight attendant. If I have an overnight in Orange County and want to do Disneyland, is it easy to get tickets or is it rough with reservations? I think it would be okay. Reservations are kind of tricky. They're more tricky for annual or magic key yeah. pass holders than they are. If you're paying money, generally they're more availability. I would think if you're buying a one day ticket, you're pretty much guaranteed to go any day you want. They're not going to like tell you no. Right? Mm. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. During the holidays, they were sold out. Yeah, so now that it's kind of like the slow season, I think you should be okay. Um, Sorry, everybody's saying different countries. I'm scrolling through <laughs> here. That's how far behind I am. But everybody's super excited for us. Now I'm going to Australia. To um, is YouTube blocked in China? Yes, they have blocked Google and Facebook and a bunch of stuff. Um. Uh, Megara, Megara. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm putting on. I I'm not sure. Megara. You want to read it? Uh, sure. This is to pay for how many times I've watched Star Wars. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Watch the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, the full story video. I owe you more money. I never got to go, but it's become my go-to vlog after a stressful day, and it feels like I'm there. That is so. Uh -oh. Very generous of you. You yeah. did not have to do that. Very generous. It was a labor of love on our part to get that. It, on Peter's part, he's the one who constructed that four hour long video. Yeah, um, it was a lot of work. Um, but we're getting a lot of comments like that, that. I'm glad people have found it because when we first published it, like um, it was like one of the worst performing videos well, yeah, in like two long. years <laughs> in two years like it was like had the least amount of views out of anything in two years but then all of a sudden like i think people are finding it now i think it has like two hundred fifty thousand. it is views the or dior lip boy I, for my birthday i um someone asked if this sorry not to like interrupt the star cruiser thing but for my birthday my 40th birthday when we were in hawaii yeah. we went to the mall and i bought myself this expensive yeah. lip oil could and I be, love it. Could oh. that be causing like? Oh, I don't think so. No. Because you keep on putting it on. No. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm so happy that people have found it and people are loving it, and that um we have a documentation <laughs> of what happened. Yeah, me too. And At first, I was like, "Do we really need to?" Like, Peter was really adamant about like making that video, and I was like, "I don't think it's necessary." But now, like in the looking back on it, I'm happy that we have it. Yeah, I will tell you the last fifteen. If you have not seen that video, the last fifteen minutes of that mo uh, that video, like, make me cry every single time. Yeah, <laughs> because it's like all the the cast and crew members basically saying their goodbye, and it, yeah, yeah just hard to watch. 
Um, was the break clickbait? <laughs> Did I miss it? No, we are taking a break. It's not going to be a long break. We're taking like a there'll week and a some, half. There'll be some times where like you might be like, wow, it's been a little bit since I've yeah. seen a video, but don't worry. We'll be here. It just might be a little yeah. delayed. Yeah, we're taking a week and a half at the end of January, and then we're probably taking a week and a half in February at some point. Maybe, Maybe even, even in March. March. Yeah. So there, there's a couple breaks that are coming. We're not going anywhere, so yeah. we don't we don't want to scare you guys or anything. But um, that's why I didn't put in the title. It's just for personal reasons and for also like we're only two people. Like yeah. we don't have any help. We answer all the comments. I edit all the videos. He, he films all the videos. It's just us. Mm-hmm. Um, and it takes me sometimes a long time to to edit. Yeah, because I'm a perfectionist. Tanner says slash film fan hair favorite movie of the year is Spider Verse. Oh, um, but Barbie for me. But I was gonna say that we we thought about for a split second putting the title of this uh, live stream as we're taking a break. We're gone forever. No, and because I was you, like, you, I don't want people. You to see think all those that. YouTubers do that, like where it's like, yeah, it's it's Sorry, not quick bait, but it, we got some explaining to do. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't want to be that, so we no. hopefully, yeah, we, we we it is serious. We are taking a couple breaks, so there's gonna be some. Yeah, there just might be like a little a little bit of a gap, but trust me, we're going to have tons of fun content when the videos do resume. Yeah. Um, but that being said, like next week, we're going to have two videos and then we're going to have a little bit of a, a break and then we'll be back. Sorry, I'm like missing all this. Uh, do you want to read this one? Sure. Oh, Galen, how's it going? Uh, the year of bucket lift trip. Bucket list trips that get checked off. Yes. I love yeah. that. And uh, that's why I want to just live my life. It's like, I'm not getting any younger. I want to like, you know, like I, visiting my grandpa, he's 90 something years old. I want to keep doing this until I like can't do it anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyways. It, it, we met her on our, one of the star cruiser voyages. And it's so funny because like she was wearing her like Sabine yeah. outfit and uh, it was it was great actually meeting her in person. I know she's so nice. She sent us um one of the things we missed on our Star Cruiser voyages was they had the Sabak uh, chip set mm-hmm. of chips, and she sent it to us. And uh, so generous, such, gonna, forever. Such a wonderful in her person. Deck. Yeah. Um. Or, or his ex asking about construction, but that was probably before we said whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we're still a little <laughs> behind on the chat. We apologize. <laughs> um, everybody says. Using Q says, if Royal Caribbean said you could bring one dog. Oh, my God, no. What, what is I'm going to ask you guys the same questions. What is it? said, if Royal Caribbean said you could bring one dog with you to meet and play with Rover on board Icon, what? would you pick Pixel or Gizmo? Well, I have an answer for this. So do I. It, it's Pixel. I also am going to say Pixel. Because Gizmo would just bark. Gizmo and like, wouldn't know how to play. Pixel knows how to play. Pixel would be excited and she would be like down to play. Gizmo yeah. would just be like. By the way, for those of you don't who don't know, Icon of the Seas has a dog <laughs> on board. It's yes, a dog officer. Named Rover. Rover. It's a six month old. We hope old to meet him. Golden Shepherd. Retriever. I Retreat, guess? Golden yeah. Retriever. And yeah, we want to meet. Oh my gosh. I, Is I'm, it him or her? I think it might be a her. Yeah, I think it might be a her. Yeah. Well, now I want to ask you guys the same question if you, you're you still here. Well, you are because you just left that comment. Would you bring, well, I guess you only have one dog. Would you bring Comet or would you bring Peter? Is that the name of your cat? Is it Peter? I think it is. Which which one would you bring? I think I know the answer. W- want to say, <laughs> <laughs> want to say thank you to Craig. Are you practicing your chopstick skills? Um, We're trying. I don't know. But we could both the use them. We're just not confident, but I feel like... I think we'll, we're we'll going to bring there. a portable utensil. Really? Yeah. I mean, maybe. Because it might be harder to find in yeah. China. In Japan, they were pretty like. It was pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, Simon says, I like your shirt. This is from Neff. Yeah, that's a cool sweat. Oh, there's Gizmo. I can see him. Sorry, Gizmo. We'd bring Pixel. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, What was your favorite part of Tokyo Disney? Uh, oh gosh. Wow. Way to throw that one at me. Um, just how like polite everyone was, how friendly everyone was courteous. That, that's what really I took away from it. Yeah. 
And I know that's just the Japanese culture in general, but like it's r- amplified at Disney. Using cues would bring the cat because comet would cause chaos. <laughs> <in the show. laughs> uh, interesting. I thought you would say comet because they're like the same kind of dog. Like yeah. They've been besties. Um, what is my favorite part? I don't know. I, I, I guess I would say the same thing, but I'm going to go different and say just how like epic and grand and how immersive like everything like especially in disney sea oh my gosh yeah Yeah. they just do it they do it hard there (laughs) marco thank you so much going to japan in september for my birthday thanks to you guys oh my gosh how fun it has made it look less intimidating you'll do fine you'll you're you got this also staying in the godzilla hotel (laughs) yes what would you recommend also what would you stay also would you stay there again yeah, we yeah. I, we definitely stay there. It was such a nice like central location. Um, I really liked yeah, um, Shinjuku. I, me too. I couldn't. I will say that hotel was maybe a little, a little overpriced. Right, it was like two hundred something a night or whatever. I'm sure you could find cheaper. Yeah, but it, I, I I thought it was a nice hotel. I, I it was a dream to be in the hotel that mm-hmm. got so was yeah. <laughs> it's strange so <laughs> um we definitely say what was the other part of the question uh what would you recommend hmm. i mean everything we did we'd recommend yeah, other than that disney restaurants too. yeah go to the shibuya sky if you can and also try to go to team labs if you have the time team lab was i amazing. know that that's not like I mean, it is uniquely in Japan. It but it's, it's Japanese artists. Yeah, I would, I would definitely like that. Was like one of we had such like a moment in there, like off camera. Like we literally just laid in that room for like twenty minutes, and like we're like, this is amazing. Yeah, it does not translate on yeah, camera. You got to do it. Yeah, uh, Marco says, or would you choose another hotel? I mean, I think if we go back. We would do something different just to do, do something some, different. Yeah, we'd probably do something different just for because, you know, we have a YouTube channel. And we want to show you a different experience. But I would totally go back to the same hotel. Yeah, I like the We like the hotel. It's a little small, but I think a lot of Jap- Japanese hotels are small. It was bigger than I thought it was yeah. going to be. Like I had plenty of space. Yeah. Um, Sarah, thank you so much. Those best purchase at Tokyo Disneyland slash Disney Sea. Mine would be the little vending machines. Oh, yeah. Which I showed on uh, last um, live stream. I don't know. I bought a lot of stuff. <laughs> I bought a lot of stuff that like I haven't even taken out of the bag yet. Like it's just sitting in the bag. Um, but probably all my Duffy stuff, I would say. You have my, them like chained onto your, your yeah. lounge flies and but, stuff. I mean, I still have like a whole bag like on the bed with just like yeah. stuff in it. You got to put it away. I know. Uh, Sarah also, is this the same Sarah? I think it's the same Sarah. No, yeah. different Sarah. Yeah. Sorry, different Sarah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, different Sarah. Uh, this is my first Christmas without my mom. Uh, it was extremely hard. Does it ever get any easier? Your videos br- bring me a lot of comfort. Well, you've had how long without your mom? <sighs> Don't make me do math. Um, uh, over 30 years. And Does it get any easier? No. Yeah. I would say it doesn't get any easier. The holidays in general, I think... I'm not like depressed during the holidays, but like they just, I can still find the holiday joy, but, um, I will say that like, you don't think about it as much, but you still think about it and it's still as difficult. Yeah. It's gonna, it's never going to go away. Yeah. But like a lot of people have told me like grief is like the strongest form of love. So like when you're grieving someone, it's just like showing you how much you loved them and how much they loved you yeah. and there's nothing wrong with that like at all you got this yeah you got it uh sorry i was reading a um pizza pat i like that name pizza <laughs> pat. thank you so much pizza pat your alani videos were super helpful in our trip planning we had a great time there in december Yay. thank you Oh, that makes me so happy. Yeah. We've Glad heard from a lot of people that have gone to Alani in Hawaii. We've met a, we met a lot of people when we were there. It's so weird. It was kind of insane. It was like more than we met, like that we meet like at Disneyland when we go. I want to say the first time we went to Hawaii, we saw one person the entire 10 <laughs> days or whatever that recognized us. Uh-huh. The second time, 
I think we might have ran into like five people. That was last year. This time we ran into five people by the time we parked our car. And we to got to the in. lobby. Yeah, it was it was like it was cool. Yeah, it was cool. I didn't expect it, but I mean it makes sense. Yeah. Um yeah, I'm glad we were helpful in any way. That makes me very happy. Yeah. I'm glad you guys had a great time. The thing I'm really happy with we with the Hawaii Alani. videos is I think a lot of people go to like Alani and they stay at Alani and I think we've done a good job of showing what the island has to offer, even though like we don't hike or do any of the like, <laughs> activity <laughs> stuff, which is a big part of it. But like, I feel like we've encouraged people to like leave the resort and yeah. try some of the great food and see the North shore and see the windward side and, see, yeah. you know, go to cool ranch and stuff like that. There's tons of fun stuff. Yeah. Um, People are asking Kidder what the best carrot cake in Walt Disney World is. He, he doesn't <laughs> like that um, whoopie pie thing at, at Hollywood Studios. I love that is whoopie Kidder pie. Still in the chat? He is. He's there somewhere, I think. Maybe he's not paying, paying attention. Uh, do you want to read this one? Sure. Um, Sherry. Wow, my eyes are like watery from. Uh, lost three. Oh my gosh. Lost three cats to cancer in one year. <sighs> Loved a pixel and gizmo. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry to hear that. God, that's rough. Three in one year to cancer? Jeez. Oh, that's rough. Uh, I worry about pixel because pixel's getting up there in age. I don't, I don't want to even think about when that time comes. Because yeah. like sometimes I'll just like have weird thoughts of like, I'm like, Gizmo's not going to be, or in Pixel, yeah. aren't going to be here forever. And then I get like in a weird mood about it. And I'm like, I just would rather enjoy my time with them until it's that time. Yeah, I know. she's She's got plenty of time left. Pixel's nine years old. I think she's got, I mean, I don't want to jinx but it. But some, like if you look up how don't long does a French bull, it says 10 to 12 years or something like that. I or? don't think that's accurate. Mm. I think that was like a statistic mm. from a long time ago. I think she's fine. Pixel doesn't even act like an old dog. She's like, she's very young still. Kidder has an answer. My His favorite carrot cake is at Epcot <laughs> for food and wine. People. Oh my God. He, I saw this comment so long ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Eh, sorry. Okay. Wait, so what is his answer? People love the whoopie pie, but I wasn't a fan. If you go to Disneyland, they have a very generous carrot cake slice of Plaza Inn that is a 10 out of 10. Carson wants to know if we're doing any after darks events this year we're not doing any of the ones that uh, were on sale we're probably gonna do the star wars we'll probably do star wars because that's like our favorite one we love going to that every year um but as far as like the the disney channel night and i think sweetheart night we're too old we don't know any of the stuff from the disney God. channel i know some of it like i watched lizzie mcguire but like a lot of it i just have no connection to um so a lot of our friends will be there and you can watch their videos but we didn't buy tickets for it Richard, thank you so much, uh, says, wife and I are, love watching your videos. We are a few years younger than you. Pre-2020, nice. we <laughs> lived in an RV full-time for two <gasps> years. And travel travel when you're young. Oh, my god! I would love, I don't, I don't know how we do that with the dogs, but. We watch so many um, travel vloggers who, like, yeah. live in RVs and live in vans and stuff. Van life people. Actually, most of the van life people that we follow don't do, don't do van life yeah. anymore. We need to find new van life people. Oh, my God, you're so Are right. Are there any cool van life people you're that you guys so know? You're right. Like, Eamon and Beck don't do it. Kara and Nate aren't doing it. Who else do we the watch? The Endless Adventure they kind of. They have an of. RV, but it keeps breaking Just, down. Yeah. Who else do we watch? Sarah and uh, Chris and Sarah don't do it anymore. Well, hopefully they're going to do overlanding, we which watch is kind of this guy, similar. Ryan Toomey. Toomey. He does it. Yeah. He's he's like the only van lifer we watch now, I feel. Yeah. I'm sure there are plenty of others, but if I'm you sure have any recommendations, are. we we watch YouTube like TV. So give us your recommendations yeah. of like travel See, see, if I got the Vision Pro, that's all I'd be doing is just watching. I'd be watching <laughs> YouTube. Like, what are you doing? You'd be like, I'm watching Kara and Nate. Shh. Yeah, I'm watching Kara and Nate, but I'm watching it in an IMAX theater in Berlin. And it's the oh screen my God, is. Stop. Yeah, oh, that's... my God. That's so funny. Oh, Flying the Nest. Yes, we love them. They're. Um, but they're not doing uh, van well, no, life. no, but they're a travel. Yeah. We they're love very them. nice. They're. We hope we're like friendly with them and we keep like. 
We keep thinking just we're, we think we're going to be at the same place at the same time, and then we always miss each other. So I, I can't wait to meet them one day. They're very lovely yeah. people. We thought we were going to be at Disneyland at the same time. We weren't. We thought we were going to be on the same cruise at the same time. We weren't. Yeah. It's just not. Flying the us are so sweet. Yeah. I, they're like, ugh, their videos are so good, too. Uh, do you want to read this one from Darstar? Sure. Uh, the senior travels, this senior travels by herself everywhere. Have met you guys I want to go to Tokyo Disney. Yeah, we met her at the Delta Lounge. Yeah. Remember? Um, do you think I'll be okay? I trust your opinion. It looks, you got your, trust me, you'll be good. And the Delta Lounge in Japan is awesome. <laughs> it's the best Delta Lounge. Yeah. Um, I think you're, I'm totally confident that you'll be fine. You should just, definitely do it. Just download Google Translate, mm -hmm. download Google Maps. Uh, it's very, it's like, very safe. We were very overwhelmed, and I, I believe in you. You yeah. got this. If we can do it, you, you can do, do it. it. Yeah. <laughs> China, on the other hand, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how we do there. Do you want to read this one? Uh, sure. Oh, Aussie Rabo. Um, we are planning to go to Tokyo Celebration, but have prioritized going to Australia next. Oh, we were planning Australia next month. Instead, we hope. You do get to go. We adored your Tokyo trip coverage. Oh, well, how yeah. fun. I mean, I feel like Australia that's a good, is cool. I feel like that's a good trade off. Yeah. Um, sorry. I'm yeah, I want to go to Australia and I want to go to New Zealand. That's like on my bucket list for sure. Kelman Explorers. Thank you again. Uh, have you have you heard about the Disney Cruise Lines cracking down on cruise ducks? A lot of people are upset. I think this is over. Okay, so this, this is what happened. There's this site where you can, like, there's Disney Parks site where people answer questions. Mm -hmm. Like, people ask, they're like, you know, how do you use the dining plane? And they answer a question. And someone asks about cruise ducks, and they're like, that's not allowed or whatever. But I think that's just some. Oh. I think that's just someone that, what like, What is a works, cruise duck to somebody who wouldn't know? People hide, like, little rubber duckies around yeah. the ship. Yeah. I think people, you see all this like cruise vloggers and or cruise tube or whatever you want to call them making a big, I don't think Disney even know. Like, I don't think they like put in the rules, no cruise ducks. If they did, that would be sad. Yeah. I think it's, yeah. Cruise tube? Is that what you call cruise it? Cruise tube? Yeah. Cruise tube. <laughs> it's like cruise Twitter. Um, uh, Emily Wong wants to say, no, how long did your video, did it take for your video to go viral? I have a YouTube channel. It's my cat. <laughs> I'll watch Emily. <laughs> I want to see your cats. Um, We've had a few viral videos. It's very like. We were lucky very early on to have one that was a lightsaber video kind of go viral. Oh yeah. That was like our first one, huh? I think people were just interested in Galaxy's Edge and yeah. interested in building a lightsaber and. We got lucky. We didn't plan it that way. Yeah. Like, we had no idea what we were doing. We just, like, happened to... But everybody thinks that, like, you're going to be... If you're going... You're a YouTube creator, you're going to create a video, and eventually one of them is going to go viral, and then you're set. But what happens is our lightsaber video went viral, and then it comes crashing. <gasps> the views come crashing down. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like... It's <gasps> small. You see him? Yes. He's right there. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just saying, like, it's not like you get a viral video and then you're like Mr. Beast. Oh, my God. Mr. Beast is like an <laughs> a, like an anomaly. Yeah. Which, speaking of Mr. Beast, this is like me having half a glan glass of my white Russian talking. But. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> uh, never mind. I don't need to go on that tangent. What but he's, like, he's on Twitter and he posted his video on Twitter and he wanted to see how many views it would get. Yeah, because Elon, like was like you should be posting your videos on twitter and he was like and I got dude our, my videos cost millions of dollars so i'm not gonna post it on twitter and get paid pennies yeah and he wants like you should do it and try so he's so gonna he reveal did the, it and he's gonna reveal how much like oh gizmo come on anyways what i was gonna say about that is um his video keeps getting recommended to me like i'll scroll past it and then i'll go on twitter like hours later and i'll see it again so like I think it's like a sponsored post. Like well, that's what, that's what people are so saying. That's though. not fair. People are claiming that Elon is paying. You the, think Elon's paying for it or 
Jimmy is. I don't think Jimmy wants to. Because I've seen it multiple times. I'm like, this is why he's getting so many views because like it keeps showing up on my feed. Well, I think technically like, any I to anyone him. you follow that likes it, it'll show up on your feed. Do you know what I mean? But I've seen it at least like five times, yeah. and that's at least five views from me alone. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. That Jay- was such the most random. Oh, Gizmo. Giz- no. Gizmo's like, get off the live stream now. Gizmo's like, it's been, how long has it been? Yeah. It's only been an hour, Gizmo. Calm down. <laughs> Jay Walk, uh, thank you so much. I was excited about Tiano's Bayou Adventure. Any questions on specifically when it will open in 2024 in California? I mean, I think it's going to open at Disney World a lot sooner than we all think. But at Disneyland, I think we're a good, like, at least six months behind Disney World. So, I don't know. Maybe. My guess is probably, it said fall, right? So, that could be October, Did it say November. fall? I think so. Yeah. Or, like, late 2024? I don't have a guess. I'm, yeah. I'm a- I mean, we were just there, and we saw them. You want to pick them up? It's just, why does he do this when we, he, I swear to you guys, he has not done this in a month. Has, am I, at least a couple weeks. Yeah. Gizmo. Anyways, I don't know what I was saying. We were just at Disney on the other day and they're like working hard on Tiana's. Yeah. So. They're like, usually when you're at Disneyland, you see construction, they're like, it's behind walls. You can't really see anything. Oh, they were. You going see people with like hammers. You see like they were like people. taking chunks out of it. There was like smoke <laughs> coming up. They were like burning something. Like I don't know what was going on, yeah. but it was crazy. I'm gonna pick them up. Okay, you do it. Um, Swim Doc says my husband and I were thinking about vlogging our trips, but it seems like so much work. Well, really, it's just as much work as you make it. Uh, our vlogs are a lot of work. But what would you say to that? Um, I would say have fun. Yeah. Try it out. See if you like it. It is a lot of work. It's more work than people think. But yeah, it's not. It's not like um, back breaking work or anything like that. Um, it is though. Your back always hurts. It, <laughs> that is actually true. <laughs> No, but like, um, I think I, okay? I, f- a lot of YouTubers have been like quitting recently and I forget who said this out of the YouTubers I watched that whatever, but he was like a lot of, like, I don't want to complain because it's obviously a dream job is a dream job for many, but like, it's still a job, even though it's a dream. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's yeah. like, yeah. So I, I think that's what you got to know. Um, if using Q says for El Caribbean said you could. Bring one dog with... Oh, you... We already answered that. <laughs> Gizmo, say hello. Do you want to say hi? Oh, sniffing. <laughs> You're okay, huh? He says I probably just need to drink some water and then I'll feel okay. Uh, Emily Wong says a queen with a star. Is that the name of her vlog? I'll have to look it up. No, it's a, it was a super sticker. Oh, super sick. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, what's your go-to comfort movie? Back Ooh, to the Future. Um, probably The Princess Bride. I almost said The Princess Diary. Which dog is a better dancer? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Neither. Yeah. Actually, Pixel. She, like... Knows how to like, yeah, you know that play dance kind of thing that they like when other she dogs also are on. Like, she used to like go up when you say up, up. She would like kind of go on like her hind legs. Yeah. But I don't, she's, Gizmo doesn't know any tricks. <laughs> uh, Danielle, thank you so much. I want to get a dog called Ka- Kylo Ren. What type <gasps> of breed of dog would that? Oh my goodness. I would say hmm. a black pug. Oh my gosh. How cute would that be? Wouldn't it look like kind yeah, of like Kylo's mask? With like the face. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. How cute. Gay is back again. Says, I'm okay. Just taking care of my dad full time. Just broke his pelvis. Oh, no. oh, no. All on his right side. So this is a mental break right now. Oh, well, I'm glad we could be a little bit of an yeah. escape for you. Yeah, stay Sorry tough. you're dealing with that. Gizmo, everyone says you're so cute. They don't like to hear you cough. 
Oh, so Laura said, or Laura and Gina. I don't know which one. I bought my partner an Ordinary Adventures t-shirt for <gasps> Christmas. And when she opened it, she was so surprised and happy that she oh started crying. Oh, my God. That is so sweet. That's amazing. That's so cute. I love that. Uh, Craig wants to know, will you will we be at D23 in California this year? Thank you, Craig. We have hotels. We just need oh, to get the yeah. ticket. Yeah, we'll be there. We go every year or every other year whenever they have D23. I've been going since, I think, 2011. I love it. I look forward to it. Yeah. Um. See, everything's okay. Would you ever go to a basketball or football game? We're not. I'm not a sports person. Um, you're I, more of a. Well, not I've even. Been, I haven't been in a long time, but I used to really enjoy going to baseball games, and I've been to basketball games. They're pretty fun. Um, never been to a football game, but Peter doesn't like sports, so I, he would never. We that would never. If you happen. wanted to go, I'd go. <laughs> but I'd be bored. Um, kill the killer. Thank Peter you so. Eat the food. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's why. Eat yeah. the food. Walk around. Yeah, the bad hot dogs. And the <laughs> There's fun stuff. When we went to SoFi, remember all those different like food places? Mm, There's like yeah. a Mexican place, and, and the food ended up being bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Caleb, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, it doesn't say anything. If I see your message, I'll read it. Um. The only thing I didn't like about Japan were the firm beds. That's 100% true. I agree that. Yeah. Did not like the firm beds. I was so tired, though, that I really didn't care. Yeah. Ethan, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Someone said that pugs have breathing noises built in. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> true, too. That's our audience. The, the people out there, the ordinary adventurers out there are so much smarter than we, like anytime we post a video, there's oh like, my God, I know. there's some comment of like, you should have said this at this moment. I'm like, I know. where were you? We're I not wish quick on our feet. Yeah. We're really not. <laughs> and then I look back, I'm like, dang, we should have been funnier. <laughs> you want to read this one? Sure. Um, Star Wars has always been an everyone brand. Thank you. Yes. Well said. I don't want to get into that subject on this live stream. But that is true. Star Wars is for everyone. The crazy thing is Star Wars is the definition of a four quadrant franchise. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what a four quadrant it means, it means young, old, men, women, like it's the four quadrants. So like when you release a, f a movie of a, that's a four quadrant movie, it's there to appeal to everybody. Mm -hmm. And Star Wars has never been like a one quadrant movie. Yeah. Or, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Yeah, like I said earlier, I turned 40, and I've, I've loved Star Wars ever since I was a kid. I blamed my dad. He put them on for me, and I instantly loved them. Yeah. And I've loved every single... I've watched every single one that's come out ever since. And, you know, it's for everyone. Yeah. Everyone can enjoy it. Uh, Wes, thank you so much. As you inspire my wife and I to start vlogging our travels, we're photographers and want to document what we do. Ooh. Any vlogging tips, gear, or editing tips? I would say don't worry about that in the beginning. I'll, I'll if, say this. If you want to do it, just, small. just do it. Take your phone. Take whatever you got and yeah. just do it. The hardest part is doing it and following through. And, um, you know, Peter's like a, a tech guy. He likes the gear. He, he, yeah. he, that interests him. So, But the thing is, like, the better gear you get, Does it, make it, it? it incrementally makes the footage look better, but it makes it harder to get that footage and it makes the setup and shooting it more complicated. If you have your phone, you could get, I almost want to shoot like a whole one of our episodes on the phone. And then at the end, like do the, like <laughs> the, uh, what Apple did with the keynote of like this whole thing was shot on the phone. Like, cause I feel We've like done that before what well, we showed, we, the whole premise of the, yeah. But like, I feel like, People think that they can't get good footage on their phone, but they can. It's just a matter of when people have their phones, they walk around like a, uh, like we used to with like home, like a camcorder. Mm -hmm. You walk around with a camcorder and you don't like, the only reason our videos look better, aside from her editing, <laughs> um, is there's, uh, I'm trying to, what's the word that's escaping me? There's, um, I'm, 
like, oh, this will be a good shot. I'll go here and then I'll go intercut. There's like intention. Intention is the the word I was like. It's not just someone randomly walking around with a camera going everywhere. Mm. That makes sense. But I would say like the biggest hurdle people have is like, what gear do I need? How do, what do I edit on? What do I do? do, do, do? Just, you just do, do what I, you got. iPhone, iMovie. Yeah. And then like just progress and learn and want to learn. And if you're into it, then that'll come naturally. The only reason I edit with Adobe Premiere is because I was taught that way. <laughs> like I would probably edit on iMovie like otherwise, you know? <laughs> yeah. Premiere probably isn't the best. Premiere's difficult, yeah. I would say. But like we had a friend who was an editor and he like, that's how we learned. And I've just never uh, done anything else. Uh, Caleb. See, you're okay. Thank you so much. Caleb says you guys inspired us to take our first cruise it was amazing. We even get hooked on the carrot cake. Best witches. <laughs> you hear that, kidder? Got hooked on the carrot cake. It was awesome. Um, my 12-year-old Frenchie is barking. The comment you made about how f- long Frenchie's Oh, living. my gosh. Why'd you say that? Oh, no. Your Frenchie's fine. Patricia. Um, you want to read this one? Sure. Um, I want to visit Alani or Hawaii, but don't drive. Will I be able to get Uber Lyft and will we have enough to do? Yes. You will. I think you should be okay. It, it is, you know, everything in Hawaii is more expensive, including Ubers. Um, so just keep that in mind. But there are probably plenty of companies who like do day trips where you could take a bus, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, we haven't done it, so I don't know. Yeah. I know like uh, Tim Tracker... Um, oh, there's like car services. Yeah, too. you can rent out like a guide for the day and they'll bring you to the North yeah. Shore, bring you on that stuff. Would, that might be an option. Um, I'm not sure how much that costs, but you could do that. Um, but I think if, if you go and you stay at Alani, you'll have plenty to do at Alani in terms of like having a relaxing vacation. But just take a few days to like branch out. And even some of the restaurants that are close to Alani, you could Uber Eats, you could w- walk to Monkey Pod. You should be okay. Yeah. You'll still be good if you just go to Alani. Yeah, you'll still love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, look who's here. Who? Oh, yeah. Their dog is twelve years old. Um, She's she acts young it's, too. It's funny, Eric, your uncle is counting how many people are watching now. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that was probably a while ago. It's funny. Um, hey, Eric. Everyone, say hi to my uncle Eric. Hi, Eric. If he's still here, who knows if he's still here. Kit- Kitra, have you played Disney Dreamlight Valley? I have. I downloaded it on my Switch. I played it a little bit. I don't love it. And I wonder if it's just because I'm not like progressed that far in it, but I find it kind of clunky to use. But a lot of people tell me that it's great. So I think I need to give it like another chance. He's a good boy. Uh, Steffi D, thank you for the super chat. Sorry, I'm oh, like, thank you. Yay, everyone's saying hi to Uncle Eric. I wonder if he's still here. <laughs> Probably not. I'm text. Oh, he's there. Oh, he's he there? Says, hello. Okay. <laughs> hello. <laughs> he says hello. Which land has you most excited for Epic Universe? Oh, my gosh. Probably oh, the Monsters Land. Make me ch- You no. know, the thing is, I'm a huge fan of How to Train Your Dragon, but I feel like that land kind of has a roller coaster and then there's that boat ride that's probably going to be for kids there's a lot of roller coasters at the land which are going to be great i mean in at epic universe i think i'm most excited for the wizarding world and the uh the the uh universal monsters land i think wizarding world is going to blow people's minds what it what it does i'm very excited for all of it i just i can't wait to see what they dream up and what it's gonna be because it's all new yeah i mean it's up for nintendo oh no steve costa's beds are firm in china too oh i bet do our dogs shed a lot not really actually yeah gizmo does a little bit more than pixel i think right yeah but it's not i mean i've lived with other dogs that shed more you guys should travel to Seattle and do a vlog there. We'd love to. We've we, been there once. Yeah. Seattle's great. I'd love to go back. If we ever do a cruise, like an Alaskan cruise, I think I would like to do it out of Seattle. That way we could go to Seattle for like a few days and film a few videos and then like do the cruise. Yeah. 
Um, Steffi D says, we love you from Dallas. Do you hear about Universal Studios, Texas? Yeah. Oh, is that the, um, the kids Universal one? Kids? Yeah, that's cool. I want to go there, but like, will it be weird because we're not kids? I don't know. I kind of want to wait to see like what it actually yeah. is going to be. I would like to to check it out, but I don't know if we'd make like a specific trip for it. I don't know. I want to. I mean, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> a road trip. Let's go. We'll uh, just like bring somebody's kid. Do any of our friends have kids we could borrow? No. Oh, uh, <laughs> over commenter said, uh, Peter, you miss WWE. Admit it. I, WWE, I don't miss. I, I miss the Attitude Era, but I also, we just watched this um, Netflix documentary called Wrestlers. Oh yeah, it was good. It was so good. Yeah, she even liked it. Yeah, I mean, I like. I used to like wrestling. Yeah. I wasn't as into it as you were, but yeah, yeah. I went through my phase. Um, but yeah, the documentary was very good. I highly recommend it. Yeah, it's about like this one of the last like regional wrestling promotions that still does like live shows like on uh, broadcast on TV. It made live. me want to like. We should subscribe to their YouTube channel so we can watch it. <laughs> it's probably bad. I want to watch it though. Aren't yeah. you like intrigued? But like they're struggling, and it's about the pe- like the wrestlers and the people who run the organization. I don't know. It's really good. I hope they do a second season of that. Probably won't, but and it's like so cinematically filmed. <laughs> Raising Twinkie said you could borrow any of my five kids. <laughs> Your kids are cute. I'll take. Yeah. I'll borrow them. Do you want to read this one? <laughs> uh, sure. Well, what did you think of Godzilla minus one? It's my number one. We haven't. We seen haven't it seen it yet. I hope we get to see it while it's still in the theater. What's funny is like we've heard it's so good. A lot of yeah. our friends are like, "It's amazing. You need to see it." Um, but when we were in Japan. If you watch our very first video <laughs> from that series, they were having the premiere, I'm pretty sure, for to that movie at our hotel because it was the Godzilla was. hotel. And we saw like that Godzilla car drive by and stuff. And like we had no idea at the time. That's so cool. Like we were there for history. Do you use Logic Pro on Mac or iPad for your audio work or do you use Premiere for audio alone? I don't touch the audio. The only no, thing, you touch the audio. But the you only thing I Premiere. do in the audio, I mean, I do it all in Premiere, but the only thing I do is like, don't get me started on the audio. Uh, <laughs> we've tried so many different microphones and like the one that we have now is pretty good, but I have issues with it. Like it's either too low or too loud. So I'm, it takes me like just as long as it takes me to edit the video, it takes me fixing the audio because I'm like a perfectionist and I want it to sound good and I try my best Oh, Sarah just showed up, so we gotta we gotta go. <laughs> no. um. My er- uncle Eric says, "The Rock, do you smell what I'm cooking?" I'm surprised he knows <laughs> what The Rock is. Do you smell what The Rock? See, that's the the era that I watched. Yeah, that's who I watched. WWF, yeah. like in the mid nineties, late nineties. Do we play or collect Oricana? No. We we've watched a few people like open packs on YouTube and stuff, and it's almost tempted me to like buy packs, but me like too. But I'm like, what are we gonna do yeah. with that? I mean, we could play each other. Maybe we should do that because they used to have the Star Wars game with dice. What was that even called? I would buy the packs for that and open them up. Kitra gets so excited, like, because, like, would we get, like, oh, rares? Yeah, what happened to that? And I never got, like, I played with, like, what a couple friends. Called? Star Wars. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I totally forgot about that. It's Destiny? like Pokemon cards. Like, I love the idea of Pokemon cards because it's like, it's like a mystery box. It's like you don't know what you're going to get and can you get the rare one. Yeah. That's why people love a mystery. But, like, it's like... I never got into Pokemon cards because it's just like, what would I do with it? And same with Lorcana. But maybe we should buy like one <laughs> starter pack. And then just no. Like do- and then we could it, donate. We could open them, get the rush and the thrill. and then Star we could Wars just, Destiny. We Reza's could, here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, whatever happened Yeah, I played Star it with Wars. Reza a couple times. But like, I didn't get to play it much with people. So I stopped. I get pulled down. Like those kind of, you and me both. Like we're compulsive. Like if it's collecting something. Mm-hmm. It's a problem. Yeah, it's a problem. I can't do that. Um, Erica, thank you so much. Says, thank you, Peter and Kitra, for all your videos. My daughter and I watch your Japan videos over and over <gasps> again. Oh my God. I cannot wait to go. Some, I can't wait for you to go. It's crazy to me that like someone's like watching our videos, like people watch Bluey, where they just like. I know. <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. I, I don't believe it, but that's, that's awesome. Um, Love Pink Hello Kitty wants to know any plans if we go to Shanghai Disney. Is that in China? 
That might be in China. Hmm. We might be going to China. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, possibly. We got plans to go there. I'm going to put it out there. We got plans. Kelly Kit says the scrumptious galaxy parfait at the Galactic Grill is worth the trip to Disneyland. We have we didn't try that, but Ooh. we tried the taro. Is that new? We tried the taro. Th- yeah, it is. Yeah, we tried the the what was it called? The taro something tea butter something tea? Fly galaxy tea, tea or galaxy something. Tea. It was that awesome. was amazing. I You'll see the video on Sunday. I don't think we like properly expressed how good it was in the video. It's so good. Yeah. Uh, Heather, thank you so much. My son and I love what. Love watching your videos, especially the Galactic Star Cruiser ones. Can you wish a happy 13th birthday to oh, D-Clan? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, D-Clan. You're finally a teenager. How exciting. <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing day. Yeah. I think I'm catching up because I just got past the, uh, you can have any of my, borrow any of my five kids. <laughs> uh, do you want to read this one? Sure. Uh, Courtney says, do you plan to go to Japan again or ever visit Universal Studios in Osaka for Donkey Kong or the Fuji Q Highland theme park at Mount Fuji? Oh, my God. There's a theme park at Mount Fuji. Well, we definitely want to go back. And when we go back, I think the the plan is to go to Universal first or to go to Osaka for some of the time. Yeah, we only had two weeks this time and we knew that we weren't going to be able to get to a lot of stuff and we knew that we were going to come back. So we're going to come back. This year, what we're going to do, I don't know, but we have a, we have a whole list. Yeah. I know. We, I, I'm, I want to see Osaka. I heard it's amazing there. So we want to explore the whole island. Manny was a big Bret Hart fan. Bret oh. the Hitman mm-hmm. Hart. Remember he used to give like the glasses to the kid in like the front row. Mm-hmm. Um, Who was your favorite wrestler of all time? If you had to pick one. God, I don't even. The Rock. You know, I I liked the like Stone NWO. Cold. I liked like uh, no, I didn't watch like that. Shawn Michaels. And well, he came to WWF, right? He was in WWF. The whole well, time. you said NWO. Is that what oh, it's called uh, now? Sorry, uh, DX. Well, the D, most of the members. Oh yeah, of, I liked him too. Most of the members of DX went to the NWO and uh, they joined. WCW and made the NWO. So it's like the same. No. I never, yeah. I really didn't watch anything besides WWF. Yeah. I mean, now it's WWE, right? Or is it something else? WWE. Okay. Yeah. Cecil I never, w- like, I tried to watch WCW, but I never got into it. <laughs> uh, Cecil wants to know do you guys have any separate interests? Um, she I like a lot of like Bravo kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't have my interests are Taylor Swift and uh, but you dragged me TV. into Taylor Swift a little bit. You like Taylor Swift, yeah. Now. Her songs are catchy. I feel like Peter has more hobbies than me. I don't really have many hobbies. Yeah, like board games, magic. It's not stuff that she but really we, does. We like a lot of the same things, but we do have our separate things that we enjoy. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know, I think it's kind of important, like at least. For me in a relationship, for to have like a lot in common, like common interests, like like I couldn't imagine. For me, no offense to anybody out there, I couldn't imagine being with someone that like didn't like Star Wars, and like me dragging them to the opening night of a Star Wars. Well, movie. we bonded like, over that. That was one yeah. of the things that like when we like first met each other, it was like yeah. a bonding experience. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, girls don't like Star Wars. You so. read <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, sure, Kitra. If you were a Disney, oh, if you were a Disney princess, which one would you be? Hmm. So, which one would you be? I've always loved Snow White. Because she's like has all her little animal friends and stuff. I'm yeah. trying to think who else has like little animal friends. Anyone who has like little animal friends, <laughs> right? Most a lot of them do. A lot of them do. Why am I blanking? Moana has Hey Hey and has Pua. Pua. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't even think of Moana on that list. I'm just gonna go with Snow White. Yeah, because we're both pale. <laughs> uh, Gaze back again. Universal is opening a kid section in Texas first. But then more for everyone after that. Oh. oh. I didn't know about that. That's cool. 
Someone says, Erica says, Kitcher, can you tell <laughs> can you tell my husband that I need a dog? Erica's husband, you guys need a dog. Yeah, you need a dog. It'll bring you closer together. Yeah. Uh, Chad wants to know why neon green, and I want to know, Chad, why not? <laughs> no, I, I, green has always been my favorite color since I was a kid, and I grew up in like the 80s and 90s, so neon was... And you're just kind of go, going for it now. Yeah. Yeah. You made it your personality, and I'm I'm it's here for it. It's not my personality. It is. No, it's cute. It's just my style. Yeah. Uh, do you want to read this one? Sure. Um, oh, it's a super. Oh, <laughs> a red heart. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you, the Bernards. Bernards. Thanks, guys. And Sarah, thank you so much. Says, please do a Bay oh, Area I vlog. Know. And reminisce about your favorite places and food spots. I'd love to meet you guys. You know, that's been on our list, but with we just haven't gotten around to it. I would love to do that. I would love to do that and then hit up like along the way, like go to like the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk or go to yeah. like the Monterey Bay Aquarium. I wonder if like, the, the restaurants that I loved in San Francisco are still around. Maybe. I'd love to go there. And, yeah. Like, yeah. Maybe one day. Yeah. And there's I, also the Disney Museum and there's. Yeah, there's a lot of. St- well, also there's Ranch Ranch Show. Rancho Obi Wan. Yeah, wow, I can't talk. Um, which is up like in my hometown that I've never been to. Yeah. Uh, Eddie says, "Is it a lot different now that people recognize you more?" Um, I'm still taken aback by it. Yeah, it's still surprising anytime mm-hmm. we're somewhere that's not in a theme park and people <laughs> come up to us. Yeah, when it's not like when we're in Hawaii. I mean, I know Alani's still like a Disney thing, but even when we weren't at Alani, people recognized us in Hawaii. I thought that was like kind of crazy. Uh, Chad wants to know, do your glasses glow in the dark? They do not, but they do glow in black light. <laughs> and I did not know that until I went to Super Nintendo World or somewhere. It was somewhere and it was like glowing. And I was like, no, oh. it was on the Star Cruiser. Oh, Star Cruiser. Was that where you first noticed? Maybe it was. Yeah. God. Have some cool pictures of Peter and the Star Cruiser with like his glowing <laughs> and he had his watch. It was so in his phone case and it was all glowing. Yeah. That's like the best photo of you ever. The Bernard say, uh, hi guys, we love you. Hi, Kit Kitta and Nuna. <laughs> um Can I put you down now? Everybody's saying their favorite uh wrestlers at the time so that's where i've cut up i don't know up. who my favorite is i'm still like kate says she loved the undertaker and macho man yeah. undertaker was a big person until he became kind of like the like um you know he came out to the kid rock and he was like on the he became a biker yeah. i liked him when he was like the undertaker yeah and, like, i liked him i really liked and... mankind um <laughs> i loved stone cold steve austin and the rock um yeah Bret Hart, or uh, no, um, Shawn Michaels. Um, <laughs> I liked Jericho and... Uh, of course you did. Yeah, and Mr. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? Wasn't his name Mr. Ass? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> was that really his name? Yes. That's so weird I mean, that's to like a, say yeah, out loud. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's where my butt check like obsession began. I don't think so. No? No. <laughs> Um, any plans to sail on Disney treasure when it comes out? Yes. We're not going to be on the first voyage though. Oh yeah. That's, that's techni- next That's year. technically the beginning of next year, but we yeah. got that booked. Not on the maiden. Cause it was like ridiculously expensive. Yeah, it was too much money. I, we just couldn't. Yeah. It was Someone pretty- says, Peter, you need more Roosevelt shirts. I agree. I have a bunch. I just haven't he worn He has them. some, but like, I think he looks really good in them. Like they, and I, you know, you don't want to come after like Paging Mr. Morrow's like style or yeah. anything, but like I think you look really nice in them. I feel like everybody's wearing Roosevelt shirts now, so I feel like who cares? Just do know. it. Yeah. Uh, Beverly, thank you so much. Says taking my kids, twenty two and seventeen, for the first time to Walt Disney World in June. <gasps> wow. What is fun. one thing you would have to do? Love you guys. Oh my gosh. Um. Well, have you ever been to Disneyland? It looks like. Hmm. If you haven't, then obviously like Galaxy's Edge and Rise of the Resistance. I but like that photo, I could see a castle yeah. in the background. But Disney World. That's exclusive to Disney World. Oh my World. gosh, that's tough. 
I just feel like Epcot in general is like a vibe. Epcot and Animal Kingdom are probably yeah. the most uniquely like Disney World stuff. So you got to make sure to go to those parks. Pandora. Yeah. In Animal Kingdom. And make sure to go to Disney Springs and eat at Homecoming. <laughs> yes. Um, you sh- guys should also visit Universal Studios Beijing. and in- Oh, that's also in China. Oh, yeah. Too. That is also in China, too. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> That was me winking. It's too much in China. There's could. a lot in China that we could potentially visit if we were to go. If we, were, you already said that we were going. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, we are going. <laughs> but there is a lot of you know theme park related. Paul stuff says Kitra would be Vanellope. She's oh my, technically oh, okay. a Disney princess. Yeah. Is she? Yeah. Remember? Oh, because she becomes like the queen at the end. Yeah. Remember she like went and met with other princesses. Oh yeah, yeah you're right. I forgot yeah. about that. That's so funny. Sleeping what Beauty has Penelope? animal friends. I feel like Penelope was kind of an annoying. She I was love, kind of a brat. I love that movie though. That movie is so good. Everybody saying that doggy is calm. Brian, you have not seen that doggy when like. Yeah, because I knew if I picked him up, he would become comatose and yeah. not make any noise. Do you want me to put you down? No, don't because he'll start coughing. Hmm. Randy, thank, he doesn't want to be thank you here. so much, Randy. Can we get pics of young Peter, please? Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have pictures of, I don't know, I'll have to ask my dad. Uh, Cam wants to know, how often do you visit Disneyland? Um, We used to visit more frequently. Now I feel like we don't go as often, not for any particular reason. Um, So it just like, when we do go, we really like, appreciate it because we're not there all the time you know what i mean so like every time we go i get that like butterflies and like excitement of being there not saying that like if we went like all the time we i wouldn't get that um but we probably but i feel like if we were there like four times a week i would it would be like more normalized you know what i mean i want it to be special i feel like we used to go maybe like once a week now we probably go like once or twice a month if that i think You say that, but then there's periods of time where we go like multiple times a week. Or there's periods of time where we don't go for months at a time. Like if I get sick or we travel or whatever, we don't go. I would say we go 30 to 50 times a year. Maybe. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, Is that a lot? But we have have passes, so it's, you know. But like getting to Disneyland, like we live in Hollywood, so it takes us with traffic. It's like an effort to get there. Because yeah. it takes a long time. So maybe that's part of it. It's like it feels like an accomplishment when we get there. <laughs> yeah. Um, she just wants to know, how do you guys afford your trips for the channel? If we're going to like Disneyland or Universal Studios, like, I mean, that costs money because we bought an annual pass. But, but we live here. We so. would have had an annual pass even if we didn't have the channel. Mm-hmm. So it, it's essentially girl math it's essentially free <laughs> right to go there that's how i look at it having a pass and then obviously we go we go on trips but it might look like we go on a lot of trips when we do but we do it, but it like more than it is here's an example so in between japan and hawaii it was like a month and a half in between those but on the channel because we post the videos of japan for like a month and a half after we get back from japan it looks like we went to japan and we went right from japan to what do you know what i mean it like yeah so, um, sorry. Um, all the money that we make from this yeah. channel, we put back into the channel. Yeah. So when we make a video, when we make a video, we generate income from or we revenue from it. Yeah. From the ads. And, from th- yeah. from you guys watching, and then we take that money and we put it back into to our adventures. Yeah. And um, we're trying to do bigger stuff now. That we have more viewers, so there's more ad revenue. So we're just throwing it back in, and we're mm-hmm. trying to. Make it bigger and more exciting and hopefully, you know. China. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, sorry. Uh, there's some. Bagel bites or pizza rolls? Pizza, pizza rolls. rolls. God, I haven't had either of those in so long. Yeah. That reminds me. I ordered some stuff from the grocery store. Oh, it was delivered. Wow, perfect. Jeffrey says, do you collect any movie props? I have a lot of replicas. I don't really have a lot of like from movie props, but I have a lot of like, you know, you see uh, Kermit up there. Um, Yeah, a lot of replicas. That's what I would say. 
can you ride Rise of the Resistance in a wheelchair? Not in your wheelchair, but you can transfer. And it's very easy, from what I understand. You didn't do it when you had a wheelchair. I don't think I did. No. I, when I was, when I broke my ankle and I was like in my little scooter at Disneyland, I was like afraid. <laughs> I was just, I didn't want to be a burden to anyone. So I, I didn't, I, in retrospect, I wish I would have tried to do more things just so I could have the experience to like let people know. Um, but it really put it, put it into perspective, like how difficult it could be. Yeah. But I was like, I was too intimidated or but like in Disney will help you. Don't be scared. Like they will help you every step of the way that you could go as slow as you need to. And they, they're there for you. I was just in my own head about it. I'm like, Oh, I don't yeah. want to like hold up the ride. I don't want people. Well, I, like I've heard that ride. It's a lot. E- it's very easy. Yeah. To know. Uh, like I remember like when we went on a haunted mansion, like they had to like literally, so you know why haunted mansion stops so much is for people, you know, in wheelchairs or whatever to get on the <laughs> ride. And I was that person. Yeah. <laughs> So I feel like that's kind of, I'm like, ooh, I was the one who like shut the ride down. No, at the time you were like horrified. I was so embarrassed. I was like, uh, we're not embarrassed, uh, but I was just like, I didn't want to be a burden. Uh, uh, Mia, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, <laughs> did you sign any autographs when you were in Japan? <laughs> no. To be honest with you, like we did, not many people recognized us in Japan and everybody who did, it was maybe like one person a day was from the United States and mostly from California. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they were on vacation in Japan. <laughs> There's a lot of people like, oh my God, you're here too? Yeah. <laughs> Which was kind of funny. I don't think we met one single person that was born in Japan, lived in Japan, that we met in Japan. No, but we did get some comments that were like, I saw you and, you know, I live in, I'm from yeah. Japan, but I was too like shy to say hi. Uh, what's your fa- favorite Taylor Swift album slash song? Oh, oh. Hmm. Well, I think my favorite album is Midnight's just because that's what really truly made me become a Swifty. And then my favorite song is Delicate on the Reputation album. What about you, Peter? Uh, <laughs> probably Karma. Okay. No, no. That's on Midnight. Yeah. Uh, Rich, thank you so much, says going to Disney Paris in 2025. Ooh. Was supposed to go this year, but my dad broke his hip. And I am his sole oh, caregiver. I'm so sorry to hear that. Have you ever been to Disney? Par- no, we have not. No, we have not. It's we on our bucket it. list. I don't think we're going to get there this year, but maybe eventually. Uh, we, we saw our friends Mouse Fives. They went last year and they loved it. So yeah, we check go. out their channel. They have yeah. a bunch or they have a few videos on Disneyland Paris. Okay. They have some good tips yeah. and tricks. Uncle Eric says move closer to Disneyland. Okay. <laughs> uh what is peter not a connoisseur of there's a lot of things i'm not a connoisseur of right yeah it well people don't understand like yes it's like a funny joke or whatever or maybe you're annoyed by it i don't know but uh when peter picks like certain food items he picks it because he knows it's something that he's gonna like yeah so when he says like i'm a connoisseur of like pork belly or whatever he purposely picks an item that has yeah. pork belly in it because he thinks he might enjoy it yeah so that's part of the joke. Yeah, you don't hear me but saying I'm a connoisseur of chicken breast. I mean, you could be. Mm, no, I'm not really. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Erica, thank you so much. What time of year do you recommend for a Japan trip? Daughter is still in school, but maybe time to skip school <laughs> life Ooh. experience or for her lifetime. Well, we've heard that summer is very humid and hot. And then you have to be careful. Like I would recommend like checking out our friend Tita, our explorer. He has a wonderful guide that kind of tells you like when it's like a lot of the time, and not just like the Disney parks or whatever, but like when there's holidays in Japan, it could get busy. Yeah. So I would just like keep that in mind. We loved going in fall. We went in yeah, October. Fall was great. We've heard November, December, December gets a little chilly. Mm-hmm. Um, but I wouldn't mind it. I would like to go maybe yeah. in, in the winter time at some point. Bergen asks, uh, Peter, is that a new round MagSafe pop socket? It's not really. It's a pop socket that's in this color attached to a MagSafe disc that's in this color. So, so don't a sell. one that you made yourself? So they sell both of those pieces. So you could buy both of those pieces and then that connects. Yeah. Um, so jealous of the calm doggy. Mine just took me down the hill. Oh my gosh. I know. I was thinking we, we probably need to wrap it up soon because I need to take him outside to go potty. Okay. Kidder says, I think your goal in 2024 should be to achieve diamond status on Royal Caribbean. Oh my gosh. I know. 
Well, we are going to have. Well, that's part of the reason we booked that two Utopia cruises. Cruise, we, we need to get the the points, the status yeah, on Royal. Status. Uh. Okay, I know. We'll we'll put you down soon. Okay. Want to be put down? Sorry, I'm I'm trying to go through here, knowing that this is going to end soon. Right, let's do rapid fire uh, for five minutes. Views and cues. What food item or meal are you most looking forward to on Icon? Oh, oh my gosh. What are we most looking forward to on you Icon? You know what? To be perfectly honest with you, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot. I, mean, I think I'm most excited for like the, the new little food court area they have yeah, outside. The Aquadome Market. Yeah. Or Aqua, yeah, Aquadome Market. Because they have like a place that's like a Chinese food. They have a place that's like crepes. They have, um, what else do they have? Mac and cheese. Mac and, oh, yeah, loaded yeah. mac and cheese. So that'll be fun to yeah. try. I think that's my favorite. Too. How old are your puppies? Gizmo is six and Pixel is nine. Where's Pixel? She's barking somewhere. I don't know she what they were. Off. As Pixel. soon as I put him down, he started barking. Oh, I was like, Mommy, let's wrap it up here. Um, summer is humid in Japan. So. Yeah, I think like summer in general in Asia, it gets pretty hot and hot and humid. So I've heard. I would argue that Peter's a connoisseur of things you can be a connoisseur of. That's true. I would honestly say there's probably only like 15, 20 things on the connoisseur. 25? Literally, it's not like everything. I think someone should go back and count. No. Okay, you go do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's closer to like 40. No. You guys uh, inspired me to book a tri- my trip. My fiance and I are going next month, and we are so excited. Oh, my gosh. You're going to have so much fun. Have fun. Uh, you see what Courtney said? Where is Courtney? You keep going down, I think. Hold on, I'm still trying to get... Oh. Uh, Roblox Robot. Peter, what is it like not no longer being involved with Slash Film? Freeing. I feel free. <laughs> I feel like free as a bird. Um, it's You know, it's interesting is seeing like movie news show up in my like Twitter feed and it's stuff I had no idea about. I know. it's like Because for like... The biggest time when I was in Slash Film is like even if we didn't report something, I knew... You know, these things I knew about stuff. Now, I like, there's stuff being reported. I'm like, ooh, I had no idea anything about, like, it's surprising. There's, like, all these movies coming out, yeah. and I'm like, what is this? I've never heard of this before. Like, yeah. I feel like I don't pay attention to any of it either yeah. until it's, like, here. And then I'm like, oh, okay. What drink do you recommend for ogres for a first time? Fuzzy Tauntaun. Fuzzy Tauntaun if you want to get crazy, or I would say Outer <laughs> Rim if you want, like, a, more of, like, a margarita. I say kinda. Fuzzy Tauntaun. Yeah. Or the Bloody Rancor if you like Bloody Mary's. Universal Hollywood Wizarding World or Nintendo World? I'm going to say actually Nintendo World. I like the ride more. I like the food. No, the food's even. I'd say the food's even. The atmosphere is probably better at Wizarding World. But there's more to do. More for me to do in Nintendo. I don't know. Wizarding World, you got the interactive wands. You've got like some time of the parts of there. They have Death Eaters running around. Mm-hmm. They have the, the the light show on Hogwarts part of the year. The ride is pretty good. Uh, I don't know. I can't choose. They're both good. Are you coming to Megacon and Mosh Eisley in Orlando in two weeks? We no, cannot make it. Unfortunately, no. Sounds awesome. Well, I hope huh? we I hope we can make it to one one day. Like yeah. we didn't get to go to the first one because I had a broken ankle and I didn't want to be like in a mosh pit. And then we've just never made it to any of the other ones. And we're hoping to go to this one, but we just were. Sarah's crazy. Sarah's going on the same cruise as us, and she's literally getting off the cruise. Yeah. Taking a train to Orlando and then doing mosh. We unfortunately had already bought our plane to get home, so like we're we're just going yeah. home. Uh. Courtney, thank you so much. I will never forget Kitcher's Crocs. What about Kitcher's <laughs> Crocs? Thank you. I love my Crocs. <laughs> you know what? I really do love my Crocs. It's a problem. Will you go to San Rio Puro Land on your next visit to Japan? We want to. Maybe. It's on I our don't list. know if it's like high up on our list, but like we want to go there eventually. 
Congrats to Mouse Fives for putting a ring on it. Oh, yeah. Congrats to them. So sweet. Would you ever get a cat? Probably not. Um, I had a cat. I like cats, but like we, we have a lot of stuff and I just feel like a cat would be like going like this to it, <laughs> you know, or like scrap, yeah. you know what I mean? Cats are cute. I grew up with cats. Did you have to do a lot of long distance walking in Japan? Yes and no. We did a lot of walking, but not a lot of long distance walking. Does that make sense? Yeah. You could take the train pretty much. Yeah. You, you are going to be walking a lot, but um, it's the, pretty easy. Yeah. You don't want to walk from like one place to another. You want to take the train. Yeah. But you're still going to do, I forget how many, you did like 15,000 steps. You'll be or tired at the end of the day. Yeah. That way. I hope you go to Smorgasburg again. They have new vendors and one Ooh. of them does the candied fruit. That you had really? We haven't been in a while. We should go back Yeah, we need to. When is the last time we went? I feel like it's been at least a year. Right? <laughs> Tell them they need to come to Mashaizu. We can't this time, but maybe next time, <laughs> Sarah. I know. I feel bad. I want to go eventually. Next one, let us know when the next one is and we'll we'll plan accordingly. Sarah says, I'll be asleep on stage, on stage at Mosh. Yeah, you're... Is Peter a connoisseur of chicken tenders? Yes. In the hot, a pool hot tub? No. Yes, you are. No. Never done that. You're an not, extra I would never... That's gross. Peter, if you could order chicken tenders and eat them in the hot tub you would do no, not lie no do not lie to the people here i'm not sure if you're a gamer but i was curious if you saw the new indiana gems game coming out this year in xbox i'm not a gamer the game looks cool though. it does look cool yeah okay we probably need to cut this yeah off. wait it's we been, got sorry we got another we got another i super feel like i'm here. always like we should go and then peter like drags you want to read that read, like read 20 that. minutes I'm sorry i need to get to the person come visit us in salem massachusetts we'd love to show you around and everyone loves oh my god I, yeah. jillian and nick <laughs> i want to go to salem so bad yeah. so bad i don't know when it's gonna happen it's probably not i mean never say never but like i, I that it is a dream to go there i think i would have i, I want to go there really bad one day <laughs> okay we we are um Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We appreciate it. Oh, we have one more. Uh, it's not. Oh, there it is. Do you want to read it? Yeah. It says, may I suggest a trip to New York after seeing the shows? Oh, yes. I New would York, love to. New, York New York's is, been on our list forever. Yeah. And, and New York is one of, also one of those things that we went to like right before we started our YouTube channel. And we had an absolute blast. The food, it's like a foodie's paradise there, and it is so awesome. Like, I want to go back Yeah, for sure. Yeah, our plan this year is to do a lot of trips, mm -hmm. both, like, you know, within our local vicinity and then also, like, yeah. far out, so. Yeah, I'd say New York is definitely on the list for yeah. sure. I don't know when we're going to get We want to get back to Vegas, too. We want to yeah. go to up north, San Francisco. Mm -hmm. We're going to make it happen. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Um, you could look forward to a new video coming out probably Sunday. And then we'll have a Lunar New Year video coming out Everybody's later. Everybody's hitting these hearts. Ooh. Oh, that's fun. I remember when we were watching uh, oh Provost Spark Pass and he was like, oh are you? God. is everybody seeing these hearts? These hearts are coming out. Oh that's so uh, funny. I, I was like, Chris. Yeah. Smash those hearts. Smash them. <laughs> um, you guys are the best. We appreciate it every single time when we do these random live streams and you guys yeah. like consistently show up to hear us talk about random things. We, we love you guys and... Um, or Bill and Lisa is nice in person as they seem. Oh my God, they're yes. so nice. They're the exact same people. And we person. we didn't want this like title to scare you. We're not going anywhere. We're just going to take a few breaks, um, short breaks, but we'll be around. Yeah. So, and trust me, we've got a lot of really stuff. Of really? It's really, really stuff? Really? I'm tired. We've got a lot of really stuff. You can stuff. tell by like, like the second hour, yeah. I'm just like. Well, we haven't had dinner uh, yet. It's 8 p.m. Gotta, well, of course, I got to order pizza. It's a tradition. <laughs> um, but uh, we have a, trust me when I say we have a lot of fun stuff planned that we can't wait to, yeah. to take you on that we're excited about. But and honestly, th just thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank for you for hanging, hanging out, out with us. us. Our next, the video that I'm putting out on Sunday is a little bit boring, to be honest. It's, but not, it's not boring. So we appreciate it, that. It's just a normal Disneyland well, we food just, video. We appreciate that you guys show up for like the really fun stuff and then the more like 
mundane, you know. It's more, not boring. Go, go when you watch it on Sunday. Go boring. and comment. And be like, this isn't boring. Or I mean, yeah, okay. Well, yeah. I want to see all the comments say this isn't boring. Well, I already told people this is a spoiler for the video. I told people in the video to spam the comments with Peter needs to start wearing bucket hats again. No. no. So I want to see com- it, I want to see isn't com- boring. <laughs> I want to see comments that say this isn't boring and then I want to see a second comment that says Peter Wear bucket hats again. Because <laughs> I keep finding these amazing bucket hats for Peter that like are green. They fit his personality. And he won't buy them. Here's the thing. I wear bucket okay. hats in the summertime you talk to about get this out in the of video. the sun. Yeah, this is a spoiler for the video. Okay. I'm watch the video. Okay. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure. You guys are the best. We love you. Have a good weekend.